Can we let him just judge whether or not the quarterback is trying to throw the football? You know, right here, he's throwing it. Down here, he's not throwing it. Yeah, right? but they have to if he brought, starts to bring it I back toward his body. I understand body, all that. All I'm saying is that it's a judgment call. The Raiders probably feel like the whole league is conspiring against them. They probably are, but the fact of the matter was it was the right call, but a bad rule. You, you know, know the, comp the competition committee looked at that in the offseason. They did not change the rule. I well, seen should it. stay the Jim, same. Jim, I, I saw a couple things in the dress room that needed to talk also. <laughs> I'm not calling anything. For those of you with the 4 o'clock game, we're back in a moment. For everyone else, enjoy it all right here. Doubleheader day on CBS. Welcome to jam-packed Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, where today the Buffalo Bills take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Hi, everyone. Greg Gumbel along with Phil Simms. Offense will be the key word today. Two quarterbacks who have combined for 33 touchdown passes, Phil, and we're only halfway through the season. Two quarterbacks that are playing well, Greg. And first off, when you talk about Drew Bledsoe, a stat that everybody loves to bring up, he is the second most sacked quarterback in the National Football League. And my answer to that is, who cares? He makes big plays, and they score a lot of points. On the other side, Trent Green is playing well. He's got to find a way to get the football to Tony Gonzalez and Johnny Morton today. Arrowhead Stadium, always noisy. We're coming back after this word from your local station. I just know where I am. There's no need to try to hide from a terrorist. If I weaken, the whole team weakens. And that's just for openers tonight. One survivor will win the adventure of a lifetime. Don't miss an all-new episode, CBS Thursday. Head down to Applebee's for our new all-you-can-eat nights and choose from three endless entrees. Every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we'll keep it coming. All-you-can-eat nights at Applebee's. Eating good in the neighborhood. Oak Express is having a dining room blowout just in time for holiday gatherings. Now's the time to get solid deals on solid oak and oak veneer dining room tables. Like this 42-inch solid oak table, now only $220. With this 72-inch oak table for only $285. Plus get no payments for 18 months at Oak Express. Bedroom Expressions is having a store-wide blowout savings event. Get this five-piece Mission Pie group for only $12.74 or the Shaker-style bed and room group for only $12.59. Plus get no payments for 18 months. Next to Oak Express. Employees with a current Pontiac Smart Lease drive a 2003 Grand MSC for $174 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for lease details. At your West Michigan Pontiac dealer. Guess who? Hello? Hello, Mr. Storm. The dreaded telemarketer. No, it's, it's Strom. Congratulations. The majority of telemarketing calls are dialed by computer. Now you can eliminate many of those disruptive calls with the Telezapper. When your answering machine picks up a call, the Telezapper sends a signal that zaps your number off the computer's list. Soon, those annoying calls just about stop altogether. Get the Telezapper. Available at stores everywhere. Wild Weed, Monday after CSI on News 3. CBS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. City. Two of the NFL's high-powered offenses clash as the Buffalo Bills meet the Kansas City Chiefs. We'll have the kickoff from Arrowhead Stadium. The Bills and the Chiefs coming your way right after this. Subway presents Fresh Starts, a salute to this season's surprises. Subway, eat fresh. Thanks to the NFC's top-rated offense, the St. Louis Rams have won four straight. The Rams' attack is led by running back Marshall Falk, who is third in the league with over 1,200 total yards, and quarterback Mark Bulger, who has filled in nicely for the injured Kurt Warner. With a league-leading 107.4 passer rating, Bulger has Rams fans hoping for another super season. Uh, I'll have your steak and cheese with some of that Southwest sauce. Two classic BMTs and put sweet onion sauce on hers. 
this piece so sweet. Like we just have a roast beef with Dijon horseradish. Subway club with hot peppers? Because we like it hot. At Subway, every sandwich is fresh made just the way you want, with your choice of delicious meats, toppings, sauces, all on fresh baked breads. It can be complicated. Just, um, give me what they're having. Or simple. It's up to you. Subway, eat fresh! A cool, crisp November day here in Kansas City, packed to the hill, Arrowhead Stadium. There's Greg Williams, head coach of the Buffalo Bills. His team in contention a little sooner than he thought they'd be. They're in a three-way tie for the top spot in the AFC East. On the other sideline is Dick Vermeil now in his second season as head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs and his team in a bit more dire straits. Every game is important to them. They're looking up at three teams ahead of them in the AFC West. Let's check in downstairs with Armin Katayan. Armin. Thanks, Greg. I can tell you, looking at those standings, that 14 of the 16 teams in the AFC have between four and six wins. That's exactly what we have here today. Both head coaches telling us more and more in this league, the deciding factor is one big play. Dick Vermeil saying it might be a play you make, it might be a play you prevent. Greg Williams telling us he has his Buffalo Bills specifically practice big plays at the end of a half or at the end of a game. Well, we'll see what happens today, Greg, on the field with that big play strategy. Back to you. All right, Armin, thank you. The Buffalo Bills have won the toss. And they've elected to receive, and big plays have simply been the hallmark for both of these teams so far this season. Well, they have, Greg, especially for the Buffalo Bills. Throw it down the field as much as anybody we've seen in a long time in the National Football League. And we talked to Drew Bledsoe yesterday, and how about when I said the Chiefs are playing a more conservative defense making you throw short and he looked at me and laughed and he says man we throw it down the field <laughs> so we'll see how it works against this Bills offense yeah today. That, that throwing it short is for other people <laughs> that's right for people who can't do it Morton Anderson ready to kick it away for Kansas City the deep man for the Bills number 31 Charlie Rogers 35 Joe Burns and we're underway at Arrowhead takes a big bounce and then from the 13 is Rogers to the 25 and across the 25 to about the 26 yard line. 19 yard return and here comes Drew Bledsoe. The Buffalo offense the front line about 1600 pounds or so of beef. You know what's important to Drew Bledsoe's long ball approach. The keys to the game for us are we've got to hit our big plays when I have Eric and Peerless open we got to make big plays. We've got to eliminate turnovers. And we've got to keep the ball out of the hands of their offense. And his two wide receivers, Peerless Price, number two in the league in TD catches, and Eric Moles, number three. There's the offensive coordinator, Kevin Gilbride. They'll start with a double tight end set, and the give is to Travis Henry, and nowhere to go for Henry. Kansas City defense stacks him up. And speaking of that defense, the Chiefs will call on Eric Hicks and seventh-year defensive end Wayne Clemens to try to pressure Drew Bledsoe today. The linebackers. Mike Meslowski had a career high 16 tackles last week at San Francisco. And the secondary includes safety Greg Wesley. Four interceptions leads the Kansas City defense. Loss of two on the play as you look at defensive coordinator Greg Robinson. Bledsoe looks at a second and 12. That's complete across the 30 to the 33 or 34 to the tight end Jay Reamer. Now we have a penalty marker down. Terry McCauley, our referee today. Illegal contact, defense, number 53. Five yard penalty, automatic, first down. Penalty is on middle linebacker Marcus Patton. Let's take a look. Well, watch number 53 going to come from the right. Marcus Patton just hits the tight end. Not much there, but enough to warrant the flag and a first down for the Buffalo Bills. So the line of scrimmage is the 30 yard line. First down. Again, the double tight end set for Bledsoe. This time, the quick pass, and that's Reamers. No, across the 40. I'm sorry, Dave Moore, the tight end. And that's across the 40-yard line, and that's enough for a Buffalo first down. Well, Greg, we talked about this Buffalo offense, how they like to throw the football down the field. But, you know, Drew Bledsoe, talking to him last night, if you look at Kansas City's last two games, they're making quarterbacks be patient. And he says, I want to be more patient as a quarterback. Kevin Gilbride really wants me to be more patient because if he is, 
it'll take some of the hits off of Drew Bledsoe. He does take sacks. He does take a lot of hits. That's what you have to do if you're willing to throw it down the field. Quick pass out to Eric Mould. And Mould is run out of bounds close to the 45 by Eric Warfield. A gain of four, and it'll be second and six. Then you look at this Kansas City defense, and why wouldn't you keep employing the strategy you did the last two weeks? It's worked. You kept the Oakland Raiders and San Francisco. You kept the point totals down. And Dick Vermeil just talking to him on Friday, the key he thinks today for this defense to get to Bledsoe, but they think they can do it inside on the center and the guards of the Bills. Push the pocket, get in his face. Coming this way is Travis Henry, and Henry gets it almost to midfield, and he's about a yard shy of a first down. Boy, what a nice job and what a good look. Watch Travis Henry as he runs this play, and you say, patience you hear it all the time on TV look at Trey Teague he stays right with him stays close to him letting him get the blocks look at it I grab a handful of jersey he grabbed it yeah not a bad guy to hide behind though also assures you of going wherever he goes third one play fake Bledsoe still has it Throw. Sideline pass is incomplete and almost picked off by Eric Warfield. Well, the play fake was a good one, except it surprised absolutely no one on the defense. I like the play call, but as you look down the field, let's watch this time. Here's a receiver that goes out for Drew Bledsoe, and then he's covered. And see if you see anybody else that comes open short. Nobody. So Drew Bledsoe has no secondary receiver. The Chiefs cover one guy down the field. It's fourth down. Brian Mormon set to kick it away to Dante Hall. Mormon was booming them in practice, and he booms one here. Bounces inside the five, and it's going to be down inside the five-yard line. We have a penalty marker back up field. And it's going to be against Buffalo. Prior to the kick, holding, offense, number 50, 10-yard penalty, between fourth down. Penalty is on the rookie, Dominique Stevenson. We were watching Brian Mormon kick them off yeah. over this field before the game began. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, when I was a player, I'd get nervous when I watched our field goal kicker, our punter, just having a terrific warm-up because your expectations go up, and you're right. And then Brian Mormon, beautiful kick there. He kicked them all during warm-ups. Now can he do it again? Would you feel better if they looked horrible in warm-ups? <laughs> <laughs> you go, no, don't let him kick it. We were in the Super Bowl in Pasadena. Sean Lindetta, one of the best punters in history, was shanking him in the stands <laughs> right and left. But when the game started, he kicked it great. So Mormon kick it again to Dante Hall. Not as good a kick. Waddle bounces between the 25 and 30. Hall has it. And doesn't get much. Returns to the 27 yard line. One good kick, one bad kick for Brian Mormon. We're scoreless here in the first quarter. We'll be back. See the limited edition 007 Ford Thunderbird in Die Another Day. Can you wait a minute? Garage door opener problems? LiftMaster garage door openers are professionally installed. Here, Danny, try this. Ever wonder if you closed your garage door? With our convenient LiftMaster garage door monitor, you'll never have to get up to check again. It tells you at a glance if your garage door is closed. Buy a LiftMaster and get a free mini remote control, a $34.95 value. Hurry, offer ends November 27th. And what did you do this weekend? I called this girl, but the line was busy. Gary? Matt? 
I went to Wendy's for lunch. Well, I see their hamburgers on TV and they look good. I ordered a classic double with cheese. Call me crazy, but I think they made it just for me. Hot, juicy, it tasted great. And when I finished, I felt good. And I liked that feeling. Bravo. Oh, sure. Wendy's classic double with cheese. And our pickup windows open till midnight or later so you can eat great even late. The penalty forced Brian Mormon to kick again, and we talk about the importance of special teams. That kick, that bad punt, cost the Buffalo Bills that penalty. 26 yards in that's, field position. That's right. That's two first downs, but more importantly, it makes the quarterback, the play caller, and the players feel better about where they start. Three stones on first down out to the 30-yard line. Quarterback is Trent Green. The Chiefs with a talented and efficient offensive line operating in front of the quarterback. And he knows what has to get done today. The keys for us today are offensively. We need to get Johnny Morton and Eddie Kennison involved, stretch the ball up the field, and, and put some pressure on the secondary. Underneath, we're going to have to get Priest Holmes involved. Last week, we didn't run the ball well enough, and we're going to have to have Priest have a big day today. Eddie Kennison had a terrific day a week ago in the losing effort against San Francisco. Play fake. Green has it. Throws out complete to Gonzalez. If that play goes nowhere, he's wrestled down by Antoine Winfield. Well, that's, that's a little change up for the Buffalo Bills. Second down, Greg Williams says everybody's been running the football us in these situations. So today they bring in, they put Antoine Winfield on Tony Gonzalez. They take out Coy Wire. They leave the linebackers in to stop the run, and they get better matchups in the secondary. So first time out, it works pretty well for the Buffalo Bills. Gonzalez caught just one pass in the loss to the 49ers last week. It's third and four. Green with time. Starting to run out of it now and goes down. Then there's a penalty marker flying out of the secondary. Ron Edwards got the sack, but let's check the marker. Illegal contact. Defense. Number 26. Five yard penalty. Automatic. First down. That's Winfield, who is playing in his first game in the last four weeks. He missed the last three games with some torn knee cartilage. Well, so much right there. If you just look at that, when you give a quarterback that much time, I think one of the strengths of this Buffalo Bills defense are the cover guys. But they're not getting rewarded because there's not enough pass rush to let these cover guys really excel. The job is too hard. That time they had to cover the receivers way too long down the field. Each team with a first down now via the penalty. Green throwing outside. That's complete. Outside the 45-yard line, Johnny Morton gets involved. 19-yard pickup. A check of the Buffalo defense now. The defensive front, Ahanatu, Edwards, Williams, and Schobel. Aaron Schobel is the Bills sack leader with five. The linebackers, Buffalo's emotional leader on defense is middle linebacker London Fletcher. His 112 tackles, a team best. And as we said, the defense getting cornerback Antoine Winfield back, who has missed the last three games with a knee injury. Why was Johnny Morton so excited? That was his first catch in three weeks. That's Morton in motion going across the field in the pitch. Coming this way and out to the 40-yard line. Stopped by Eddie Robinson is Priest Holmes, who comes into this game number one in the NFL in yards from scrimmage with a total of three, 1,353. Yeah, he's, he's having a terrific year, Greg. But I want to go back to Johnny Morton. We heard from Dick Vermeil last week. They got to find ways to get him the football. My, was, my question was, why? Because the offense is going so well, but they got specific plays in to get him open. And you can, boy, to say he's excited about getting involved again, but that's what you want to do. You want to get all your players involved, keep them all going. That way, it just makes it harder defensively, and whoever's hot, get him the ball. On second and seven, Green again with time, and crossing pattern to Bo Richter, and that's incomplete at the 20-yard line. Mark Bo Richter, the first-year man out of Hastings, and appears to have just all kinds of promise. The Chiefs really like him. Well, you watch practice, you can see that someday the Chiefs are going to have to find a way to get Eddie Kinnison, 
Johnny Morton and Mark Borichter all in the game because Borichter, big, he just has that knack. You can tell. He can find the open spaces. He knows how to use his body. He comes to the Canadian League, and he is adjusting well to the National Football League. He comes from the Canadian League. This is a summer day in Canada. <laughs> Third and seven. Green under pressure and is dropped by Chidi Ahanatu. His fifth sack of the season. That'll force the Chiefs into a kicking situation. Well, Greg, you talk about it. They, the Bills can cover. They have the ability to take good wide receivers out because of Nate Clements and Antoine Winfield. And this time, they get some pressure on the quarterback. Ahanatu gets the sack, and the defensive backs get rewarded. So Dan Straczynski, who has struggled recently for the Chiefs, on for his first kick. That's not a great one. But he gets a decent bounce. And it appears that uh, the Chiefs, or the Bills, will put it in play from their own 20-yard line. 25-yard punt. Ever notice how many Ford trucks you see out there? Is it because they're so tough? Is it payload? horsepower, towing, their off-road capabilities, the Triton engines, lasting durability, or is it all those things that have made Ford F-Series the best-selling truck for 25 straight years? Leadership has no boundaries when you're built Ford tough. Mr. Stevens? Yeah. Got you down for over 130 channels, $39.99 a month. Right, so... Uh, every channel's digital quality. There's access to 31 premium movie channels, 60 pay-per-view movie titles a month. Great. They're... So that can go on the back of the roof? Yeah, sure. Yeah, good. Uh, so go ahead and pull around back. You work for the cable company, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Why settle for cable? Get a two-room direct TV system with installation for under $50. His favorite comedy duo. Would you mind if I go back up on stage now? I don't, but they might. Get out of here! The true story of Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Hello, ladies! It's just two guys on stage goofing around. They rewrote the rules of comedy. What are you laughing at? And loved each other like brothers. Till death do us part. Until the one day they shocked the world by breaking up. Me and nothing but a dollar sign. <laughs> it's all good. A world premiere movie, Martin and Lewis, CBS next Sunday. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Ford. No boundaries. New Campbell's Chunky Roasted Favorites. Hearty soups that fill you up right. And by Direct TV. Movies, music, and exclusive sports from the leader in digital satellite entertainment. Scoreless with just over eight minutes to play here in the first quarter. Greg Gumbel, Phil Sims, Armin Katayan from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Travis Henry and Larry Centers in the ball game. Centers is flanked as a wide receiver. First down Buffalo from their own 18. Bloodsoak throw. And the quick pass is complete to Dave Moore. And Moore out to the 25-yard line for a seven-yard gain. Second and three. Well, again, we did the game last week, and we saw the San Francisco 49ers for a lot of quick short passes and what happens is it's kind of frustrating it lets you move the football down the field but you never make that big pass play or that big play to get you in scoring position to get an end zone when you have to methodically go down the field your chances of scoring go down greatly penalties a drop pass a sack a lot of different reasons can stop a drive let's so to throw has his man Eric Moles across the 30 and we have a penalty marker down on the far side of the field. He was tackled by Louis Martin. It's enough for a first down and the first indication is it's against the Bills. Illegal shift offense two men moving prior to the snap did not reset five yard penalty second down. So that cost Buffalo a first down. I did not catch the illegal shift. Usually I can see that, but two big penalties uh, right away. Look at the Buffalo Bills. They are killing themselves. Killing themselves fourth in the lead. Much the worse. They did last year. But the punt had them pinned it to one. Big pass play. Bring it back. Three penalties against them worth 20 yards today. On 
second and eight Travis Henry tries the right side he turned the corner is dragged down by William Barty the third year cornerback out of Oklahoma you know the other thing I noticed too the style of defense Kansas City you change and I always say this to you Greg there's Greg Robinson defensive coordinator he was pretty fired up before the game wasn't he we were watching him in there warming up he was getting all over the players but when you play zone again in this league everybody can see the football so when the running back goes outside you have more people reacting to it and it makes it harder to run outside because of that fire comes alive now on third and 11 and Bledsoe will go from the shotgun wrapped up and brought down at the five by John Browning John Browning gets the sack but Eric kicks from the outside number 98 going against the rookie Mike Williams there's Mike Williams on the outside crowd noise the speed going against the rookie Eric kicks takes advantage of it oh just gets off the snap count just good timing puts Bledsoe in trouble Mormon now to kick out of his end zone Dante Hall standing at midfield it bodes well for Kansas City field position high floater Hall from his own 45 side steps the first wave and not the second and he's down at midfield and we have a penalty marker down Dick Vermeil said Dante Hall is the best catcher of the football from the punt return position that he has ever, ever seen. He does make it look pretty easy, too. Yeah. And it's going to back the Kansas City Chiefs up. Well, Mormon's happy that it's going to take away another good one. Illegal block in the back. Receiving team, number 55, 10 yard penalty, first down. Time penalties out. on Gary Stills. We'll take a timeout. No score here at Arrowhead Stadium. Penalties rule the day so far. Go to hyperspeed. Now! Clear! I'll never forget you. Never. Bing. What? Just pick a movie. Really get into movies with the finest from RCA at Radio Shack. Like a 27-inch color stereo TV, only $249.99. And make the movie experience real with this home theater with DVD, now just $299.99. How about this? No, please. Move along, little doggies. Radio Shack. <clears throat> when I look at Steve and Jenny, I just think, wow. Don't they look great? Especially Jenny. We all remember what she used to look like, you know, really plump and, you know, not fat, but, you know, big boned, you know, uh, wide. <laughs> you know, she had girth. You know, the diets, there was tons of them, but uh, the one that worked best for her was stopping eating. <laughs> you know, just no food in here. Ford Explorer is alone at the top. It has outstanding handling and the roomiest third row seat in its class, which are just a couple of the reasons it's the best-selling SUV on the planet. Ford Explorer, the leader, has no boundaries. Tuesday, a sailor's death is blamed on half the ship's crew. But how many men can you arrest? What is it you're after? I'm just trying to find out where the buck stops. All new Jag. Then, the parents of a murdered child are the number one suspect. What happened to her? But the answer to this mystery is something you'd never expect. You're gonna need a lawyer. All new Guardian after Jag, CBS Tuesday. We remind you, you can get breaking NFL news, exclusive analysis, and team power rankings all at CBSSportsLine.com. If you're on America Online at our keyword, CBS Sports Line. These teams have totaled 36 total yards and 35 penalty yards thus far. Priest Holmes couldn't get much of a hit of steam before Chidi Ahana too wrapped him up after two yards at second and eight. Well, we talked about Buffalo's defense, what they want to do on second down. They self scouted, and here it comes again. You got Chris Watson coming in, Coy Wire going out. When they self scouted themselves during the bye week, they realized on second and long when they bring in the extra defensive backs that other team the other the offense was just kill them with the running game so this is their little change up keep the linebackers in 
and stop the running game. Play fake, Green, gonna go deep down the sideline and has a man open. He's got him in full stride, and that's Eddie Kennison. Inside the 20-yard line, first down. Boy, when Eddie, when Trent Green let that football go, I thought it was way overthrown, but Eddie Kennison watched the speed going against Nate Clements. That's why he gets wide open. The change of pace. And he just runs through the football. Good. Oh, is that excellent. Wait to the last second. Run fast until the last second. You raise those hands. That way you can run through the football and not come up about a foot or two short. 44-yard pickup on the completion to Emmett Kennison. Kennison first down, and here he is. Brees Holmes trying the right side and is wrapped up back at the 20. Antoine Warfield was the first to hit him. Let's get our first check of what's going on in New York. Here's Jim Nance. All right, Greg and Phil, greetings to you. Tommy Maddox had thrown an early touchdown here for the Steelers, but this time he's picked off by Peter Sermon of the Titans, who will race it back to the one, and McNair from there will throw a touchdown to Kevin Dyson to tie the game 7-7. Let's go back to Greg and Phil. All right, thanks, Jim. Loss of one on the last play, second and 11. Green with time over the middle. Pitch Gonzalez at the five yard line, first and goal. Well, that's just a nice throw by Trent Green. And Dick Vermeil said to us on Friday, too, bad coaching job by us last week. We didn't adjust. We should have found ways to get the football to Tony Gonzalez. And as you look at that throw, the other thing I said to Coach Vermeil, I said, boy, Trent Green is a sneaky, fastball thrower. And he agreed. He said physically he had offseason, this past offseason, to build himself back up, wasn't fighting injuries, and you're seeing the real Trent Green this year. First and goal, Green going to throw for it. As a man incomplete, just overthrew Gonzalez coming across the field. Well, that's hard for Tony Gonzalez to outrun Antoine Winfield. Really a good job again by the Bills. They are not going to let Gonzalez get lined up against linebackers and maybe even a safety where he can outrun them or use his size. And you could see that time Antoine Winfield underneath waiting for the throw. Gonzalez two catches for 17 yards today. There's a reason why this guy has been so productive for the year and a half he's been in Kansas City because he can make people miss. Good blocking up front. John Tate gets a good block. Casey Wigman again pulling. Knocks out Coy Wire. Nick Vermeil says, all right. 15th rushing touchdown for Priest Holmes. His 17 TDs lead the way in the National Football League. Morton Anderson, extra point is up and good. Just a bit over three minutes to play in the first quarter. A Priest Holmes touchdown from four yards out has the Chiefs up 7-0. felt that our trucks were tougher than anybody else's trucks. I've had people say to me, I own a Ford truck, and I have 120,000 miles on it, and it's still as good as the day I bought it. Ford trucks stand up to anything you can do to them. Build Ford Tough isn't just a slogan. It's what we deliver. The people that buy Ford trucks say to us, I will only buy Ford trucks. I mean, I love hearing that. James. I could use a fast car. On November 22nd. Who sent you? Your mama. Live for the moment. Life is no tomorrow. And 
die another day. Time is the kill. Well, there's a name to die for. What happened to you? Bond. James Bond. Looks like we're going down together. Not yet. Die another day. Rated PG-13. Starts November 22nd. Don't miss the conclusion of the television event. The New York Post gives four stars and calls riveting. Academy Award winner William Hurt stars in Master Spy, the Robert Hansen story, tonight. Monday, day's all new with the King of Queens, Kevin James. Plus, Biff visits Gohara, New York, and Dave brings in the entire town to be part of the Late Show. And Tuesday, don't miss Shania Twain. Welcome back to Kansas City. Priest Holmes, team record, eighth consecutive game with a touchdown. Which is amazing when you think of all the great football players that have come through this city. We were talking about that on the way to the stadium. Today. What a history, huh? Oh. Yeah, it's just incredible. You come here, too. This is one of the best atmospheres in the NFL. That kick into the end zone will not be returned by Charlie Rogers, and so the Bills will go to work first and 10 from their own 20-yard line when we come back. Preet Holmes, the record setter, the man here in Kansas City these days. Shook up ramen? Yeah. Soup. Freeze. A call to the library could help her out. Good thing T-Mobile lets her call whenever she wants. Go. Says here, pour some sugar on me. I'm hot, sticky, sweet. Mm-hmm. The most one ever minutes, free long distance in Roman. Only from T-Mobile. Get more. New York giant Michael Strahan and his mom brought Luis Hernandez new Campbell's chunky honey roasted ham and potatoes. Filled up right by those hearty chunks of ham, Luis was in hog heaven. Motel6.com now has special Click 6 web bargains that'll save you even more when you book online. Mark my words, this internet thing, it's gonna catch on. I'm Tom Bodad and we'll leave the light on for you at a core hotel. CBS Thursday will keep you guessing. It's not fake blood, it's human. On this film... That was a murder. Porn turns deadly. Hell of a way to go. And every frame will lead CSI closer to a twisted killer. How does somebody cross the line where killing a woman is a turn on? All new CSI. Then, a Saudi Arabian doctor goes missing. Now some fear the worst. You think Anwar is a terrorist? You've got to get out! No, don't do that! All new CSI and without a trace, CBS Thursday. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by T-Mobile. Get more minutes, more features, more service. And by Domino's Pizza. Get the door. It's Domino's. Well, a couple awesome blocks. Casey Wigman makes one on Priest Holmes' touchdown run. He's at center. Here he comes around. Makes the good block. And the other one is Tony Gonzalez, number 88. Right in front of you, in space, blocked London Fletcher. That's a nice block, too. Tony Gonzalez, terrific pass receiver, but also a good blocker. So Bledsoe and the Bills find themselves down a touchdown. He goes back to work, Travis Henry. Left side for a couple, out to the 23. John Browning there, that front line operating without Derek Ransom, who sprained his left foot last week against the 49ers, and Eric Downing is subbing for him, and Downing came in after Ransom left the game last week and registered eight tackles against San Francisco. Now Dick Vermeil very pleased with that. They weren't even sure they were going to dress him last week, and they put him in there, plays well. Now he's going to see some playing time because of that effort. Second and seven. Bledsoe down the sideline. Eric Moles has it across the 40, out to the 43-yard line, and a first down for Buffalo. Well, you know, when you're going to blitz and you're going to then press Eric Moles, William Barty is on him. Drew Bledsoe, they've done this so many times. He just throws a line drive over the top of the cornerback's head, and Eric Moles, he's so athletic, so big, and he attacks the football. We hear that all the time. Drew Bledsoe talks about it. He attacks it, makes an easy catch for him. That's Richie Owens, number 97, a defensive end who is down on the near sideline and is being looked at. And while they look Richie Owens over, we'll take this break and come right back. 
It's one hot night of comedy. First, when the King of Queens plays matchmaker, things go monstrously wrong. We built ourselves a Franken couple. Then, supermodel Heidi Klum guests on Yes, Dear. Oh. How hot is that? Next, has Ray's brother finally found the one? Don't forget, he married one that wasn't the one. And TV's hottest new comedy still standing. Don't we love each other enough to go a few hours without television? Depends what's on. Hot comedy, all new, CBS Monday. Plus, Dave's got Kevin James on an all-new Lake Show. Welcome back to Arrowhead Stadium, and Richie Owens has now just gotten to his feet. Eighth-year defensive end, spent some time in Washington and Miami, and is going to make his way to the sideline. We were talking with Dick Vermeil about how it is his habit to go right out to where a player is down on the field, and he says, well, that's twofold. I want to see how he is because I care about the guy, but I also want to see if i got to bring somebody else off the bench well, to fill in for him. You know, it's, it's, it's why it covers both bases for him. Being behind is familiar territory for these Buffalo Bills. They have trailed in nine of their ten games so far this season. On first down, Henry looking for a room on the left side, and there's not much there. A yard on the play, second and nine, and once again to Jim Nance in New York. Jim. All right, Greg, a little update again from Pittsburgh, Tennessee. The Steelers on the attack here. Bettis back to Maddox. Maddox going to the end zone, and it is intercepted by Lance Schultz from Maine, 7-7 there at Nashville. Let's go back to you. All right, Jim. You know, did you see Boomer Esiason's bobblehead doll today? Yeah. You know, had the real big head. How did they know they either used the head or the belly? How do you make that decision? Come on. You are brutal. I'm brutal. You're brutal. Boomer, you're my man, though, baby. If I don't say something bad about him every week. All kinds of movement up front. Jonas Jennings is the left tackle who moved for the Buffalo Bills. Prior to the snap, ball start, offense, number 75, five yard penalty. You play start. You start. Second down. That's the story so far for the Bills. It's penalties, and it's the difference in this football game, I think, so far. You got to deal with the crowd noise. Greg Williams says, boy, we went indoors. The offense, they heard it Thursday and Friday. We pumped up the crowd noise so you communicate. But look, what you can't duplicate is the fact that offensive linemen get nervous when they have to sit in that stance too long and they see blitzers crowding the line of scrimmage. It's a real thrill to attend a practice session with that crowd noise. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like headaches. Bledsoe with good protection out here to Henry dodges the first tackle 45 midfield and out of bounds in Kansas City territory pushed out by Greg Wesley a 15 yard pickup you know it's just so hard I think to defend this Buffalo Bills team how you defend it is scoring a lot of points against it and just hold the football but it's a pass rush nobody gets there and then you get the ball to Travis Henry it's really a nothing play but he has the talent to make you miss and pick up those yards. But, you know, Greg, even when you play a safe defense, they run down the field so fast, they make you defend from sideline to sideline. It just opens up bigger holes than you're used to seeing in your secondary. On first down, Bledsoe going to go to the shotgun. It's a pass over the middle, and that's complete. And inside the 40 to the 35 is Henry for his second straight reception. Four receivers were open. I don't know how you decided who to throw it to. We've come to the end of the first quarter here in Arrowhead Stadium with our score, the Chiefs 7 and Buffalo nothing. We'll come back to Kansas City after this. You're watching the NFL on CBS. What is it? It's a business time machine. What's it do? Well, you can go back in time. So we can undo our worst decisions? Every last one. Like our network. The Dead End Consulting Project. Never happened. Let's go. Well, it is just a prototype. It could be dangerous. Bill, you go first. Got time for a Reese's fast break. 
creamy Reese's peanut butter. Nougat, covered in milk chocolate. Get lost in a Reese's fast break. To fit the way you write, a pen's gotta move. Cause I gotta like that. Introducing the Pendulum yeah. by Paper Man. Buy any Olympus digital camera, and you'll get the most realistic digital images yet. And for a limited time, a $75 rebate on select Epson Stylus photo printers. Go to olympus.com slash promotions for details. Olympus. Nothing's impossible. It's the year's most attacking format, the Franklin Templin Shootout. Join me and some of the greatest names in golf right here on CBS Sports. Well, attention. Wednesday on CBS, don't miss the sexiest night on television, Heidi Klum, Tyra Banks, and the world's top supermodels heat up the runway on the all-new Victoria's Secret Fashion Show Wednesday at 9, 8 Central on CBS, America's most watched network. Uh, what are you doing around 9, 8 Central on Wednesday night, Phil? Um, uh, my wife will have uh, her hands <laughs> over my eyes. Excuse me, dear, I can't see the TV. From the 35-yard line, first down, Buffalo. Henry with a big hole on the left side. Inside the 30 to the 28, Mike Meslowski with the tackle. That's just a nice job on the left side of the Buffalo offensive line. Stretching it to the outside, and then Travis Henry sees a little crease to the inside, similar to what the Denver Broncos do a lot of time. Jay Reamers with a nice block out in space. Gets Marcus Patton to the outside. One guy that hasn't gotten involved yet in the Buffalo offense is number 81, Peerless Price. He has no catches so far. Henry again tries to cut it back forward to the 25. Maslowski with the stop. Well, you know, you talk about Peerless Price. We had a chance to talk to Eric Warfield, defensive back for Kansas City Chiefs, number 44. And we, I don't know how it came up. We talked about the wide receivers. Are you going to match up? He says, does it matter? Eric Modes or Peerless Price, just cover the guy that comes to your side. And he played in Nebraska. Peerless Price was at Tennessee. And he said that, boy, Peerless Price looks a lot faster now than he did in college. He said he was just in college. He was just a guy who had good hands and ran good routes. But now he looks like he's been in the league for years. Henry. Room to run on the left side to the 20-yard line. That's a first down Buffalo. Well, Buffalo wasn't going to fool around. They had an earlier third and less than one. They tried to get not cute. They made a good call. You try to go for a score. That's what you got to do in this league. Take some chances. It didn't work. But they, they're running the football now. They look like they got the Kansas City defensive line physically a little under control. So don't take a chance in those situations. First down from the 20. Pretty balanced offensive quality. Henry right side, 20, the 15. Bumped out of bounds, just short of the 10-yard line. Shenard Hart with the contact after an eight-yard gain, and Henry with some rough landing. Wow, he's almost in the front row. Eric Modes made a nice block on the play, and great. we hear this all the time. Defensive linemen, they talk about, I've got to get off the block. In that last play, you could see the Buffalo Bills offensive lineman hit him. Nobody could get away from the lineman. That's why Travis Henry had space to run. And now, let's see, here in the red zone, what Bledsoe and the Bills choose on second and two. It's got to be a run. I'll tell you why. Baby. The pass for Moles in the end zone incomplete. Eric Warfield was there on Moles, and it'll be third and two. You know, I, I'm shocked because Drew Bledsoe pointed those fingers, and I said, oh, that's the old fake. That's going to be a run, make them think it's a pass. But Eric Moles, oh, you could. Eric Warfield gets his hand up in between. That's it. Just enough to break it up. And that's what you want to do as a defender. We hear that too. Herman Edwards for the Jets, an ex-defensive back head coach, says when the receiver puts his hands up, split the basket, right, Greg? Get your hand in between them, and that's what Eric Warfield did that time. Time running down on the play clock to one. Bledsoe barely got it off. 
pulls it down and now throws to the five yard line. Josh Reed made that catch. And that's what Drew Bledsoe brings that other quarterbacks can't. And what, what I'm saying there, under pressure, he's big, he's really big. Watch this. Nope, and just somebody's on him. He's still strong enough, big enough, tall enough to make the throw for the first down. Six-yard pickup. It's now first and goal as you look at Bledsoe's numbers. Yeah, and some quarterbacks scramble for three yards. Drew Bledsoe makes about five throws a game that other quarterbacks can't make because of his size. Bledsoe had it batted at the line of scrimmage by Maslowski, number 57. It'll be second and goal. Well, we talked about Mike Maslowski last week, Greg. Just has the knack, knows how to make plays. That's why he's in there. All the tackles last week. And an example of how you don't have to come from a big-time college football school to make it in the National Football League. Maslowski's in his fourth year out of Wisconsin lacrosse. Wisconsin lacrosse, that's right. Second and goal. Bledsoe with good protection this time. Lofts it out here and overthrows Phil Crosby. That's one Drew would like to have back. Yes, he would. He kind of got stuck. You got to move your feet, get in position. He was waiting for Peerless Price to come open. He was double covered in the back of the end zone and just didn't adjust well to the outlet receiver. Ray Crockett now onto the field, an extra DB replacing Scott Fujita, the rookie linebacker. Trent Green wants the fans up in arms. Larry centers. And three wide receivers are spread. There's a blitz. Corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Josh Reed, the intended receiver, Marti was there on him. And onto the field will come the field goal unit. Well, it's a little double move by Josh Reed, but just never looked like it had the good timing. Drew Bledsoe didn't look comfortable. But most of all, just excellent coverage on the outside by Marti. Mike Hollis will kick a 23-yard field goal here. He's missed his last three. But not this one. Out of the hole by Brian Norman. The Bills are on the board. 7-3, Kansas City. Every day, meet Elegant, the redesigned Saturn L Series midsize sedan. Get a 2003 Saturn L Series at 0% APR, zero down payment, zero monthly payments for 90 days. See retailer for restrictions. Come on, hon, just tell me what soaps you want. This isn't really my kind of place. Dad, I told you, lilac. Lilac? Just use the stuff I got at the hotel. Dad. That, that's Nextel, right? Yes. And the chamomile, too, and a honeysuckle. How about just some that, soap scented soap? It's that cell phone with the walkie talkie, right? Yeah. yeah. So cool. You should do their commercials. Commercials? I want to be a serious actress. There's an easier way to get the gear the pros wear this holiday season. Call 877-NFL-SHOP for the biggest selection of authentic NFL gear. For your free team catalog, call 877-NFL-SHOP or go to NFLShop on NFL.com. Five Survivor episodes left. What happens when the castaways play a game where the winner gets to snuff out the loser's torch? It's not over till the fat lady sings, but I think I can hear her warming up. Um, 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 um. And one survivor will need speed and balance oh, to win an astonishing adventure. Oh, my. All new Survivor, CBS Thursday. Big, long scoring drive for the Buffalo Bills. A 15 plays, took six and a half minutes off the clock, and Travis Henry with 
26 yards receiving, 29 yards rushing. What did you say? Big long scoring play by the Buffalo Bills is what I, I said. I thought you said that. Yeah. Just checking. It's one of, those, one of those on Monday. I'll question myself. I'm Mr. glad you beat me to the punch. Mr. English professor. Onside Side kick. Yeah. Kicked off by the Bills. We were talking with Greg Williams last night about trick plays. He goes, oh, we'll definitely have some things ready to go if they work. Charles Johnson made the pickoff. And I, we asked, are you afraid to call him or anything? He goes, oh, no. If I think it's there, we're just going to go with it and not worry about it. But let's watch to see if any. Oh, yes. You can see the Kansas City return front line takes off backwards before the football is struck. Look to the top. You see them moving. They're not waiting till the football is hit. And that's why they had the onside kick. Good timing. Good kick by Mike Hollis. And the line of scrimmage for Bledsoe in the Bills, his own 49-yard line. Henry breaks it to the near side, trying to turn the corner, shakes a tackler inside the 35 and out of bounds. We have a marker down on the near side. Well, just real quick, Greg, on the when you talk about the onside kick to go back to that, you just can't be afraid. There's no foul for grasping the face mask. First down, Buffalo. So they'll pick that marker up. And I wonder if it's grasping. It's going to be Travis Henry. Eric Warfield, he puts that straight arm out there. He puts his hand on it, doesn't grab it. Terrific straight arm by Travis Henry. Not real tall, but we've talked about it. He is powerful, that's for sure. Now, back to that onside kick. We're asking Greg Williams if the score matters to him. And he says, no. Anytime no. it looks favorable to us, we'll do it. Just like if there's no secondary people, you throw it. And the same thing when it comes to special teams, taking chances. What so to throw on first down. Running out of time, far side has his man complete near the 10-yard line. It's Peerless Price. Well, how was that? That is just, that's greed. That's what it was for the Buffalo Bills. Big drop by Drew Bledsoe. Again, Dick Vermeil said it best when he talked about him. When you watch him on film, poise under pressure. Here comes the pressure. A quarterback, he can see there's a defensive lineman coming free. But what happens down the field? He knows by taking the hit, taking that deep drop, it gives the wide receiver that extra second, which is huge. And that's why Peerless Price was wide open. From the 11 yard line, first down, Buffalo. And we get a whistle and a false start call against false start. Eric Moles. Offense, number 80, five yard penalty. First down. You know, Greg, go back to that long play. Just think if you're a defensive back and you're used to the rhythm of the routes and all the stuff that you do. You do it with practice every day. You see it in games. And all of a sudden, you play Buffalo, and you just go, this is not normal. It's not normal to see somebody run 30 yards down the field and then make a cut. You know, defensive backs are just not used to that. Well, you saw the disgust registered by Greg Williams and by Drew Bledsoe on that penalty call. Penalty calls will do more to stop a drive than anything in this league. First and 15 now for the Bills. Henry, big hole right side, inside the 10-yard line to the 9. And it's like last week's game a little bit for the Kansas City Chiefs. Terrific offense they have. And where are they? Sitting on the bench going, okay, we're going to get a chance here. It's, we're going on about 20 minutes since they were on the field yeah. last, maybe even more. And uh, it takes away the rhythm, makes it hard, and you just, as Dick Vermeil said, we cannot get anxious when the other team controls the football. Second and eight from the nine. Blitz, the bat, caught by Moles, touchdown! What a throw by Bledsoe to the backside, and what a grab by Eric Moles. On purpose, trying to throw it behind the receiver. It works well, but what a catch, Greg. And it's a good throw by Drew Bledsoe, but a terrific catch by Eric Moles. It looks like that he caught it with one hand and pulls it in. 
drags oh. his foot. Let's see where that foot comes down. His left foot hits the white. It's pretty clear. The red flag is out, and this is going to be challenged by the Chiefs. That was pretty clear. We had a shot of Greg. We had a shot of Greg Williams where he just went kick it because he knew it was yeah. close. Let's hurry. Well, there's a lengthy discussion. Well, I can't imagine what the discussion. Here it comes. The left foot. Kansas City has challenged the ruling on the field that is a completed catch and a touchdown. So Terry McCauley will take a look at this. If it stands, the Bills will have scored. 10 points with the extra point in about two and a half minutes, but that's a big if right now. Left foot down. Definitely looks like it's over there. Oh, there's another good shot. So every time we show it, if you look, you can see it's about an inch to two inches into the white. Good shot right there. And you know, every time it's shown here in the stadium, the Kansas City fans go, oh. Well, it's part of it's part of professional football now. Anytime there's some debatable, the fans start to yell because they want replay. Well, as Terry McCauley takes a look, this is a big play for Dick Vermeil. It's not for Greg Williams. It's more important to for Vermeil than it is to Greg Williams at this point. No, it's always anytime you're talking about scoring plays in this league. If you have any doubt as a head coach, you challenge it. One more look. Look at his left foot. Right foot in. Left foot down. Looks like it hits the white. When in doubt, when you see his foot come up, is when you can really tell that it's in the white. And there's another good shot. Well, you know, you just can't get anything by our director, Larry Kevlin. You can try. He is, and the great camera crew, of course. It's not the director, it's the camera crew. <laughs> right, yes. It's the players, it's not the coach. <laughs> we all know that. Was that the philosophy as a player? Oh, sure. When we did well, it was us. When we had a bad day, it was the coach didn't give us a good game plan. That hadn't changed either, as you notice as we go around the league. Remember, though, this was second down. So the Bills offense, if it is overruled, we'll get one more shot. After review, the receiver's right foot came down in bounds. The left foot, however, came down out of bounds. It is an incomplete pass. We third and eight on the nine yard line. Kansas City is not charged with a timeout. Here's the right foot down and the left foot on the line. So now, instead of a touchdown, it's third and eight for the Bills. Well, what you've done now, you've really got the crowd involved, and it's going to make it hard for Drew Bledsoe to get his offensive lineman to be able to get off at the snap count to afford him some protection to throw it into the end zone. It was hard, but I got it out. Reamers in motion. Bledsoe running out of time and goes down. Eddie Freeman got to him. All the little things that conspired against the Bills, the penalty. They play that wasn't a touchdown, and now they'll have to try to settle for three points rather than a touchdown. Nobody open. Basically, everybody was double covered in the end zone, and the only thing Drew Bledsoe could have done was throw the football away to avoid the loss. From 34 yards, Mike Hollis. Got it. 8.42 to play in the first half. 
7-6, Kansas City. Oh, yes! Yes! Yeah! Are your employees this happy? They might be. If you secured their financial futures with benefits from the Principal Financial Group, we're the nation's 401k leader, and we provide comprehensive benefits from insurance to investments, even mortgages. Great benefits tend to make employees more productive, loyal, and, well, happy. The Principal Financial Group. We understand what you're working for. The redesigned Saturn L-Series mid-sized sedan and wagon. Every day, meet Elegant. Get a 2003 Saturn L-Series at 0% APR, zero down payment, and zero monthly payments for 90 days. See retailer for restrictions. CBS Monday on an all-new CSI Miami. A sniper on the loose. A city terrified. Now to catch the shooter, CSI will go inside the mind of a killer. And that's when we'll get him. All new CSI Miami, CBS Monday. For this victim of the streets. If you stay, your daughter never sees you again. This ex-cop may be her only hope. No matter what, I love you. All new Hack, CBS Friday. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Saturn. Makers of the View redesigned L-Series and the all-new IR. The principal financial group. We understand what you're working for. And by the United States Marine Corps. For 227 years of faithful service, thank you, Marines. Happy birthday. In view of the successful onside kick, it's not likely you'll see that front line of the Kansas City Chiefs turn and run quite so kick quickly on this kickoff. Their feet will be glued to the ground for about two extra seconds. Short kick. From the 16, Dante Hall. Out across the 30 to about the 31. And Ryan, you, Mondays, and it's CBS. All new Night of America's best television, starting with the King of Queens. Then it's Yes, Dear. Everybody Loves Raymond. The number one new comedy of the season still standing. And then TV's number one new show, CSI Miami. Plus the late show with David Letterman after your local news. All of that Monday here on CBS, America's most watched network. So Trent Green finally gets a chance to go back to work. So it's been a half hour. What you got? What you got? Give to Priest Holmes and Holmes penalty marker flies out of the backfield. There's Terry McCauley. Personal foul, grasping the face mask. Defense number 93, 15 yard penalty, first down. So the Chiefs immediately get an extra big walk off, and let's get on to Armin Katayan. Armin. Thanks, Greg. You know, we don't have to spend much time around Dick Vermeil to realize he's a numbers guy, and I do mean numbers guy. Every week from a terrific little company called StatSync, he gets all the league statistics, enough to fill this book. And I'm telling you, it is full with about a billion different numbers. Everything from red zone to turnovers to third down efficiency. Dick told us he spends about 90 minutes a, or 90 minutes a day with us. I'm told, or 90 minutes a week, excuse me, I'm told he spends up to 90 minutes a day, Greg. Back to you. To number 80, Johnny Morton, delivered perfectly by Trent Green, and another first down for the Bills, 21 yards. Well, when oh, the Kansas, Chiefs, excuse me. That's all right. When Kansas City does have the football, Greg, we talked about it. They want to find ways to get it to Johnny Morton. So far, they've done it twice today down the field. And what they did, they attacked the zone. They cleared it out with Eddie Kinnison, who is the speed receiver, and Johnny Morton follows behind. Nice throw and nice catch. First down, Kansas City. Holmes trying to break it outside. The 25, out of bounds, just short of the 20-yard line. Eddie Robinson ran him out. You know, people ask me, I was actually doing an interview this morning, and somebody asked me a question about Priest Holmes, and I said, I re related it this way. I always knew John Elway had a good arm. And then I got in this business, and I went and watched the Denver Broncos practice in person, and I went, oh, wow, his arm's a lot better than I thought. When you see it in person, and the same thing can be said about Priest Holmes, 
You can watch him on TV, but until you see him in person, you can't appreciate how good he is once he gets the football in his hands. Play fake, second and four. Green throws outside and just short of Johnny Morton. What a route by Johnny Morton that time. I didn't, I was so entranced watching him, I couldn't tell if Trent Green had enough time to throw the football properly, but Chris Watson, he took him down the field, took him inside, and when he broke out, he was wide open. You mentioned it earlier, that Dick Vermeil says, we want to get Johnny Morton involved, and his lack of involvement, he says it's not his fault, it's just that he's come over, a new system, and takes a while to get worked into all of that. Well, look, you got Priest Holmes, you got to hand it to him. And you got this tight end, he's pretty good too. So when you're third, when you're third on the pecking order, sometimes it's hard to get the football. Here's Kennison around the far side and tackled at the 20-yard line by number 23, Pearson Prelo, who is a terrific tackler in that Buffalo secondary. Yeah, you know he is, Greg. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. The safeties, Coy Wire and Pearson Prelo, they are terrific especially near the line of scrimmage when it comes to tackling runners. So Morton Anderson will come on to attempt the field goal. So that was a good play by the Chiefs, just well defensed by the Bills. Gary Anderson, 484 career field goals. Morton Anderson can tie him with this one. This one from 38 yards out. On its way. And it's good. A couple of Andersons at the top of that NFL list. Morton and Gary, 10-6, oh, Kansas City. We have all the time in the world. Time enough for life. Every day, meet Elegant. The redesigned Saturn L-Series midsize sedan. Get a 2003 Saturn L-Series at 0% APR, zero down payment, zero monthly payments for 90 days. See retailer for restrictions. Okay, you got your file folders, pens, paper, toner. Let's get you some printer labels and you'll be all set. Ah, uh, Jeff Spillane, very underrated. Here's a guy whose knowledge of thousands of office products has quite frankly changed the way people shop. message is intense, but if you complete the journey, you will find your destiny among the world's greatest warriors. The few, the proud, the Marines. I think this photo paper is just what you're looking for. Wow, great price. David White, three-time employee of the month, Dan. He has a natural ability to match a customer's needs with his budget. Really a go-to guy in these situations. Access NFL.com now on America Online. Get live game day coverage and real-time stats at AOL keyword NFL.com. Tonight on CBS, don't miss the riveting conclusion of Master Spy when Robert Hansen takes even greater risks and an unbelievable chain of events finally blows his cover. Oscar winner William Hurt stars in the world premiere movie Master Spy, the Robert Hansen story. Tonight on CBS, America's most watched network. As Morton Anderson lined it up. Oh, I like Morton Anderson. Yeah, you know, I, got, I, I was telling you guys the story the other night. I held for him years ago in the Pro Bowl. Finally corrals the football and then gets buried at the 15. <laughs> Only a two-yard return as Morton Anderson. And why I want to tell you this story to let you know I did go to Pro Bowl. That's why. But no. I'm over there. Nobody wants to hold because nobody's done it. So they asked me, and he's the kicker. And I said, okay, so we're practicing. And I go, okay, Morton, do you like the laces up? Do you want it sideways? You know, what do you want? And he goes, hey, dude, just put it down. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it. Just put it down, dude. And I went, oh, wow, great. And I'll tell you what, that was the truth. We'd practice, I'd stick it down every way, and it's down the middle. So he's not con concerned with all the little nuances. Just get it down there, and he'll get it through the uprights. On first down, Travis Henry straight ahead, left side for a couple 
I just want you to know I've been to the Pro Bowl too. I was there when they kicked the former head coach of the Chiefs, Hank Stram, out of the pool. But he's spreading suntan lotion on the surface. <laughs> yeah, Hank. Uh, Hank Stram could he could carry a tan pretty good. <laughs> Sir, would you please, please get out of there? Here's an oil slick. Oh, one of the nice people. Travis, Travis Henry's Henry. numbers. Yep. You know, again, you know, I, I hate to keep harping on this, but uh, you're going to have penalties during a football game and mistakes, but the Bills are making way too many of them. Again, dropping the kickoff just puts them in bad field position. Out of the backfield is Crosby, and Crosby looking for a first down and appears to have it out across the 25 to about the 27-yard line. Fujita runs him out of bounds there, but it's a first down for the Bills. And that's, that's some of the patience that Drew Bledsoe talked about. When it's not open down the field, especially against a defense that's protected against it, throw it short, pick up the first down. But so throws far sideline. Bowles has it and is out of bounds to the 30 at about the 32. Boy, that was. That was a throw and a catch. You're talking about throwing into the strength of a defense. That would be the one spot you wouldn't want to throw it, but Drew Bledsoe just throws a fastball out there and throws it by the defender, Eric Warfield, and they pick up some yards. Now second and four, back to the ground game. Henry shakes a tackler. Tries to cut back and is across the 35 to the 36 and appears to be about a yard short of a first down. It'll be third and one. Well, we're seeing that quite a bit today. Travis Henry strong enough breaking tackles and keeping the Buffalo Bills in some good situations. So third and short. Crosby behind Bledsoe. Henry pushes forward and is very close. Oh boy, this is first off, it's a tough spot to come from the sideline with all those bodies in the way. Well, stop, clock stops with 3:55 to play, and we are going to get the measurement. Again, you know, it looked like it was not going to be made, but Travis Henry, these running backs, we talked to Priest Holmes last week, these running backs don't realize how much they need to break until they get it. And I'm sure Travis Henry fits into there, gets that break, you don't take that pounding, you feel fresh, and he picks up the first down. Boy, that, that was him. It wasn't the blocking up front. Let's watch Aaron Kicks, number 98 on this last play. Coming down the line of scrimmage, beats the tight end, gets involved in the play all the way down the line of scrimmage. And Eric Kicks is having a good day today. Came in the league at about 250 pounds. Now he's about 285 pounds. Bledsoe. Short pass to Henry out of the backfield. To the 45 to the 48 yard line. And that's another first down for Buffalo. Richie Owens makes the stop. But it's an 11-yard game. John Browning, the defensive lineman from the inside, it's the first time I've seen all day the Kansas City Chiefs thought they could really pressure from the middle, but they haven't really done that so far. It's been from the outside, but Browning that time came from the middle and hit Drew Bledsoe almost immediately. This now a six-play drive, as you see, as we come up on three minutes to play here in the first half. Travis Henry with 101 total yards on the day. Bledsoe looking downfield, escapes the rush, is on the move across midfield and forward to the Kansas City 47-yard line. Fujita made the stop. That's a good job by Drew Bledsoe. Probably should have pulled it down a couple times in the game and ran with it. Boy, he's shaking that right knee. 
Look down the field. He's looking down the field and a play action. Oh boy. Fearless Price was open right away or open on the play, but Drew Bledsoe never got outside. Let's see if you can look at his right knee as he runs his football. If he takes a hit. Didn't see much there. Bledsoe gives to Henry up the middle, first down inside the 40 to about the 36 or 35 yard line of the Kansas City Chiefs. Rhythm. An offense gets in rhythm. And that's what the Bills have got going on this drive. We've come to the two minute warning. Two minutes to play. It's a 10 6 Kansas City lead. Hello, Moto. When the King of Queens plays matchmaker, things go monstrously wrong. We built ourselves a Franken couple. Then supermodel Heidi Bloom guests on Yes Dear. Oh, how hot is that? Next, has Ray's brother finally found the one? Don't forget, he married one that wasn't the one. And TV's hottest new comedy still standing. Don't we love each other enough to go a few hours without television? Depends what's on. Hot comedy, all new, CBS Monday. Plus, Dave's got Kevin James on an all new late show. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Gateway, a better way. And by Coors Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Cold down easy. It's a reminder, coming up in the next Hell Halftime Report, Jim Dion, Dan, and Boomer have scores and highlights from our studio in New York, the next Hell Halftime Report. I'm sorry, I got a little excited on the highlights. Some highlights. Highlight. First down for Bledsoe and the Bills from the 35 yard line. Two minutes to play. You've been excited all weekend, yeah. though, Greg. Number of plays. Buffalo staying on the field. Henry straight ahead for maybe three. It'll be second and seven. So these are all good signs for the Buffalo Bills. One, they're protecting their defense by controlling the football, but two, they were just hoping this team would kind of come together as the year went along, and especially the offensive line. And today, you can see this offensive line perfect for Buffalo and the weather. They're big, they're powerful, and they can wear you down as the game goes along. Bledsoe complete today more at the 25, and that appears to be close to a first down. We'll check that out, but we have a timeout on the field, 123 to play. Way cool. Way. Way to my heart. Talk this way. Think of another way. Way to go. One way, two way, ways to get it done. My way. For the highway. Do you know the way? See the world in a beautiful way and see the Milky Way. By the way, I can do all this with Gateway. A better way. of the wire you don't know what to expect everything could seem peaceful and at a moment's notice you know it could turn into a volatile situation my wife she supports me you know 100 percent 
I got home from work and I saw that Chad had put together a quick time movie somehow. I noticed that he named the camp Camp Bradley. That's the name of our son. So he's very aware that his daddy misses him a lot. It's Becker's 100th episode. Yes, it's about time! Get ready for a night of to get laughs and outrageous surprises. I gotta say, I didn't see this one coming. All new Becker, CBS Tonight. There's a minute 23 to play here in the first half. The Chiefs with a 10-6 lead on the Bills. There was no timeout called by Buffalo. The timeout was taken for a measurement, which shows the Bills have third and inches at the 25-yard line. I would think quarterback sneak then called the timeout. Bledsoe does sneak, and he does have the first down. Drew Bledsoe to ball carry. Now, should I just pat you on the back and say nice going, or was that just a no-brainer? No, slap yourself on the head. <laughs> How's that? That's better. And now Buffalo takes a timeout. And Trey Teague slow to get off the ground. NFL team of power. Unlike some things in life, the jacket is reversible. We're 73 seconds from halftime, and then it'll be Jim, Dan, Boomer, Dion at our studios in New York for the next Dell halftime report. They'll have all the scores and highlights of a busy day around the National Football League. Do you think I pick on Boomer too much? No, I think you pick on me too much. Oh, okay. No, I don't. You are always picking on me. I encourage, I encourage you to go after Boomer. No, no, he's cause a liking for the third time in this second quarter Buffalo has been inside the Kansas City 30 yard line Bledsoe throw quick one complete inside the 15 to Josh Reed and we get a timeout call <laughs> Buffalo's red zone trips today that pass batted by Maslowski Crosby was overthrown by Bledsoe, and then Reed was overthrown. Moles had a touchdown called back, and then Bledsoe was sacked by Eddie Freeman. Well, they're getting some experience down there, Greg, so they've seen just about everything that Kansas City can do. Look what they've done the last two games. The last play that Drew Bledsoe completed, it was what they call a zone blitz, so linebackers came on the blitz, Eddie Freeman, number 71, a defensive lineman, dropped out but could not get in the throwing lane quick enough to stop Drew Bledsoe's completion. That's it. See, Eddie tired, got, got tired and passed coverage, had to bring him out. The but, ball just inside the 15-yard line. No, I was going to say good recognition by the Buffalo offense. Second and one. Here comes the blitz. Bledsoe over the middle, and that's complete to centers, and centers to the 10. First down. Well, plenty of time. No use to hurry. Over 50 seconds. You still have one timeout. The first and 10. The pass out the far side. Centers and centers diving to about the 7. <laughs> Corey Harris made the stop. Clock continues to move, and now we get a whistle. And Buffalo calls a third and final timeout to stop the clock with 35 seconds to play. We've had a lot of conversation about timeouts, not just over the last couple of weeks, but over this whole season. And one thing coaches don't want to do is walk away leaving timeouts on the table that they could have used. Absolutely. I think especially in first halves of game, Greg, we always talk about it. Where the team, a lot of times, say there's a minute and 30 seconds to go when you're on defense, don't let the other team 
when they're down and ready to score, just eat up the clock. It's taken away a possession from your offense. So sometimes you should call those timeouts to give your team one more possession. But that hadn't been the case today. Buffalo's called them for themselves. So Kansas City still has three timeouts in case they get the ball back here before the first half ends. Drew Bledsoe's numbers on the day. On this drive, he is 7-for-7 seven seven throwing for 48 yards. Second and six from the seven. Now the blitz. Throwing for the end zone. Touchdown, Eric Moore. Well, that was just a nice throw by Drew Bledsoe. And well, I, I want to say courageous almost to throw it to the sideline against the blitz to an offensive player that's breaking out. And the cornerback could see Drew Bledsoe making a throw the whole time. Mike Hollis on for the extra point. The kick is good. And with 32 seconds to play, the Bill with a 13 to 10 lead on Kansas City. You watch the replay, Drew Bledsoe, you can see the blitz coming up inside, doesn't panic. Makes the perfect throw, and I think it's against Corey Harris, number 40. That's who it is. Watch as you look. Corey Harris watching. He's looking at Drew Bledsoe. But Bledsoe, again, something you can't practice. The speed of the ball getting out there is faster than what you're used to. So Eric Moles had a touchdown taken away earlier by review. This one goes into the books. Well, you know what he's saying, don't you? I should have two. <laughs> but again, we, we've talked about it earlier today, just the Kansas City Chiefs offense sitting on the sideline. Five plays in the second quarter. Buffalo had the ball for almost 12 and a half minutes in this quarter. Dante Hall, Mike Cloud are deep for the kick, which we assume will go the length of the field from Mike Hollis. Oh, pretty good kick into the end zone, and it will not be run out by Dante Hall. So it'll be first and 10 from the 20-yard line, and we remind you, log on to NFL.com, help pick the NFL's all-star lineup. Cast your vote for the 2003 Pro Bowl squads now, only at NFL.com or on America Online, enter keyword NFL.com. Boy, that's some um, statistics that have to worry the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, their defense is not giving up big plays. They're not give, giving up a lot of points. But what you're doing, you're taking your own offense off the field too much. you got to make those third down plays on defense to get off and get your offense back on the field. Trent Green has half a minute and three timeouts to work with. Runs out of time and then throws and almost intercepted by Coy Wire, intended for Eddie Kennison. It looked like in mid-throw, Trent Green changed his mind. He did, right in mid-throw, and he was trying to throw it away. Then the, because he changed his mind, Greg, the football slips out of his hand a little bit, makes it hang in the air, and Coy Wire misses it. Coy Wire, the rookie out of Stanford. Second and ten. Boy Wires made some nice adjustment to the NFL for a rookie. Green on the screen. Priest hole. 25. Still on his feet. Still on his feet and dragged down now at about the 32 or 33 yard line. And the timeout is called, stopping the clock with 15 seconds to play. Boy, you could hear the crowd. The crowd got anxious because they can see the whole field. And the last person gets Priest Holmes. Otherwise, he's going to run for 20, 30 more yards. Coy Wire, number 27 again. You can tell Pearson Prelo might have been able to chase him down from behind, but it would have been a big play. Well, you know, 17, 18, 19 plays now by the Kansas City Chiefs offense. I think last week, I'm just guessing, 46 for him last week. So everybody says, well, you got to get touches to Priest Holmes. He's not getting the run. Hey, guys, they're not on the field. They can't give it to him when he's not on the field. 
is a first down. Green with time over the middle. Tipped, batted in the air, incomplete. Eddie Robinson, I believe, got the first tip on it, and Antoine Winfield had the shot at it. Boy, nice play. Watch as your Trent Green down the field. The receiver to the inside clears it out, and then Kennison is coming behind, and it's just tipped of Johnny Morton coming from behind. Good read by Trent Green, about two inches too low with the throw. And in the final seconds of this first half, those are two near interceptions that could be turned into points before the halftime break. Green over the middle has Kennison inside the 45. The time will expire here in the first half. So time winds down on us here in the first half, and let's go down to Armin Kateyan. Coach, it appears Buffalo has taken a page out of that San Francisco playbook and really controlled the clock. How do you counter it and get your offense on the field? Well, first off, they also did a good job on the onside kick, and that hurt us. And then it makes the converting on third down more critical. You know, we were third and two. We had to go to a, we didn't make it. We had to kick a, a, kick a field goal. We can't do that against these guys. And, and I, I hopefully we can do what we did in the second half against the 49ers, come back and stop them from ball controlling us. Because I really feel comfortable that we can move the ball, but we've got to get back on the field. All right, Coach, thank you. All right, Armin, key ingredient to the football game. Got to get on the field and do some scoring. That's the end of the first half. Buffalo leads at 13-10. Jim Nansen Company with the Nextel Halftime Report after this message and a word from your local station. This is the NFL on CBS. Tonight, Oscar winner William Hurt in the conclusion of Master Spy. Robert Hansen will give away America's most damaging secrets and take even greater risks. You will not panic. You are superior. Then an unbelievable chain of events. We have a tape of a phone conversation. Will finally blow his cover. I don't need to hear it again. I know his voice. You know what we have to do. See how it happened. Who are you playing with? Master Spy, the Robert Henson story, CBS Tonight. Don't miss the sexiest night on TV, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, CBS Wednesday. Come on, we got a show, people, we got a show! <laughs> The designers at Chrysler invite you to preview our holiday collection, a national event featuring our latest styles and designs, and some pretty impressive figures, like 0% financing on select cars and minivans, or cash allowances up to $3,500, plus our 770 powertrain limited warranty. So consider this your invitation, and see your Chrysler dealer today. Attention pizza lovers, it's hot, it's cheesy, it's loaded with pepperoni, and it's ready when you are. It's Little Caesars Hot and Ready Pizza Day. Tomorrow, swing into Little Caesars and we'll take care of dinner with a large, hot, and delicious pepperoni pizza for only five bucks. That's five dollars for a large Little Caesars pepperoni pizza, hot out of the oven and ready when you are. Only at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Everybody's got a little Jeep adventure in them. Isn't it time you let yours out? Now during Jeep Adventure Days, you can. Because during this factory-authorized limited-time opportunity, you can get 0% APR financing on all 2003 Jeep vehicles and make no monthly payments for 90 days. Plus get our 770 Powertrain Limited Warranty. No one else gives you all that. So hurry to your Jeep dealer and find the Jeep Adventure in you. Check one out today. Scores, highlights, and all the action. News 3 Sports. CBS Sports presents the Nextel Halftime Report. Nextel, bringing you wireless solutions. And hi, everybody. Welcome to the Nextel Halftime Report. Jim Nance from our studios in New York. I'd like to welcome those of you watching Buffalo, Kansas City, and the Battle of Ohio. Dan Dion and Boomer are here. And guys, we're going to have our own little contest here, all right? See so if we can get the most fired up over the highlights here, okay? <laughs> all Let's right. just check it out. we got the Bills in Kansas City up first. The Bills taking a lead on a touchdown pass to Moles. Henry, well, well on uh, pace for uh, crack of the century mark here today. And Holmes has been kept in check except the one run. Good, Jim. Trey Green 
He's fired up. Look at this throw right here. 44 yarder to Eddie Tennyson. Good play by the safety, preventing a touchdown. Then Priest Holm on a pitch sweep. Ooh. He gets in for a touchdown. Ooh. There, four Ooh. yarder. Ooh, Ooh. Breaks uh, Marcus Allen, single season. Oh, you want to be surprised right yeah. here? Look at surprised. onside kick. Yeah, I'm surprised. Mike Hollis. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked too. They recover. And then Eric Moles in the corner of the end zone here. He's they in. call a touchdown. Kansas City challenge that. Look at his left foot. Is he in, Dion? He's in. He's out. He's nope. my friend. Take it <laughs> off the board. And then later on, at the end of the half, Eric Moles, seven-yard touchdown. Buffalo goes ahead right before the half. He's in that time at Buffalo at halftime. I'm leading fired up. I'm three. fired up. You were fired up. You did a good job there. <laughs> yeah, thank Meanwhile, you. the Browns and the Bengals and Couch is thrown for a couple of scores. Kitten has thrown one run for one in yeah. that one. How lucky are you in Cincinnati that it's a sellout that you actually get to watch this game on television? And what do you see? John Kitten dropping back 72 yards to Chad Johnson. Remember, he said, I guarantee we're going to beat the Cleveland Browns. And right now, he's doing his part. And then next, it's Tim Couch. He finds Darnell Sanders in the back of the end zone for a 14 yard touchdown. The score is tied at seven at this point. And Tim Couch is not done. He takes the uh, a pass that throws to Andre Davis across the middle for a 14 or 15 yard touchdown. And then John Kitna up the middle. To get down, Whoa. get low, do not take the hit. 17 to 14 at half. Bengals showing a little uh, spunk today, boys. It's not over. Pittsburgh and Tennessee have just gone to the half in Nashville, and it's 14-7. Didn't take long for the Steelers to strike in this one, Dion. Not at all. Tommy Maddox having a so-so day, two interceptions. But check this out. On the first play of scrimmage, my Tommy said to me, Heinz go for 72 yards. Oh. Heinz Ward, 72 yards, baby. Find the touchdown. Tommy Maddox back here. Touchdown Tommy is what Dan calls him, but he's picked off by Peter. I can preach a sermon today all the way down to the one-yard line, but he takes a whopping hit. Tommy Maddox pitches to Jerome Bettis. Jerome Bettis throws back fourth lateral, but it's, it's called later on. He throws the interception to Lance Schultz, his fourth of the season. We have the part of you review play stands and Eddie George smells it from four yards out. Those that highlights from three yards out. Brought to you <laughs> by the man with the five golden rings. Yes. Or the diamond rings. Diamond rings. Diamond rings. Diamond rings. Uh -huh. Dallas five, and Indianapolis. Like Cowboys with 67 total yards. That's it. Field goal on each side in that one. By the way, Harrison, over 600 career receptions uh, after five today. Five catches. He's the fastest to ever get there in a career. Jacksonville, 10 up on the Texans as they're about to start the third quarter down in Houston. Carr with a long strike for a touchdown. Brunel's thrown one to a tight end there as well. And there's former your, uh, President George Bush telling David Carr, look, enough with the interceptions, enough with the sacks already. So what does David Carr go out and do? Oh, he throws an interception. Marlon McCree, he returns at 37 yards, puts Jacksonville in great field position. He made a nice tackle. He did make a nice tackle, but Jacksonville's Mark Brunel comes back, uses a little play action, rolls to his left, finds Kyle Brady in the back of the end zone. That's his second of the season for Kyle Brady. And then you want to know why everybody's all excited about David Carr? Just look at this throw, fellas. It's a laser, and it's to Corey Bradford down the sideline for a 52-yard touchdown. You know, Houston, you know, representing okay. Not doing too bad. Not so bad. Green Bay and Minnesota, and uh, Favre's 2-8 and eight all time at the Dome. He's been picked twice in the first half there. Culpepper has been picked twice, but he's also what? thrown no. two touchdowns. One of them to Moss. And Atlanta and the Saints, Vic with the longest touchdown pass of his young career, 74 yards to Gaylord, the game's only score. Arizona and Philadelphia and McNabb, we talked about how he hasn't thrown a lot of touchdowns here in recent weeks. Total of four over the last five games. Well, he has four today in the first half. He's back. Big time. Yes, sir. And the Redskins and the Giants, 10 all at halftime. Redskins, touchdown to Willie Jackson, just recently signed, and the Giants to Amane Toomer. And that game, 10-10 at halftime. We're going to send you back to the second half of the game you're watching. Thanks for being with us on the Nextel Halftime Report. CBS Sports presents the Nextel Halftime Report. Nextel, bringing you wireless solutions. Dude, look who's over there talking to Heidi Klum. Oh, man, now that he's making his move on her, we'll never get noticed. Did I tell you I know how to do fractions? Look at you. Smart and cute. <laughs> Hello, boys. Supermodel Heidi Klum guests on an all-new Yes, Dear CBS Monday. Five Survivor episodes left. One Survivor will meet speed and balance oh. to win an astonishing adventure. Oh, my God. All-new Survivor CBS Thursday.
This is Reuben Brown of the Buffalo Bills. Reuben helps the United Way build stronger communities by participating in after-school recreational outings that help kids succeed. To all of his fans, Reuben's a hero. To some of his fans, Ruben's a hero. Now, from the NFL shop, you can customize your very own official NFL replica jersey. Pick a team, choose a number, use your name or your favorite player. NFL shop can make one in any style you want. Just $79.99. So call now and order for yourself or a friend. 1-877-NFL-SHOP or go to NFL Shop on NFL.com. CBA Sports presents the Nextel Halftime Report. Nextel, bringing you wireless solutions. Back at Arrowhead Stadium, the Buffalo Bills with a three-point lead at halftime, 13 to 10. It was the Chiefs who got off to the early lead, but the Bills have been playing keep away. Two long drives and in between, a successful onside kick. 13-10 Buffalo and the NFL on CBS continues after this word from your local station. Oscar winner William Hurt in the riveting conclusion of Masters by CBS Tonight. I quit my job today. I met this really cool guy on the internet. He's 30. Life throws all kinds of curves. Fortunately, with its advanced safety systems, the Smooth Running RX is designed to better handle the ones on the road. Hey, Mom, you know that tattoo we talked about? How you manage the rest is up to you. All for just $35,700. Test drive one at Harvey Lexus of Grand Rapids. Just breathe, breathe. Are you ready? Hey, breathe. baby. It's your appetite. I say we get two Arby's sourdough melts for three bucks. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I know you want that, baby. Do we have time? That's why they invented drive through Get two Arby's sourdough melts for three bucks, only for a short time. You want a bite? Give in to your grown-up taste. Some like football in their living room. Others like it in their face. If you like it like this, the Dodge Durango Tailgater Edition will make your weekend. You get a Coleman Road Trip grill, cooler, barbecue tools, and more when you buy any new Durango. Plus, get $2,500 cash allowance or 0% financing. And our 770 Powertrain Limited Warranty. So bag the TV dinners and let the tailgating begin with the Dodge Durango Tailgater Edition. Our new 99 cent double Swiss mushroom burger is bigger. Bigger than Wendy's single. Bigger than McDonald's big and tasty. Bigger than Burger King's Whopper. Bigger at Hot and Now means a third of a pound of sizzling USDA beef with Swiss cheese and sauteed mushrooms for just 99 cents for a limited time only. Go ahead, take a bite. A big bite. Building a better burger. Hot and Now. Wild Week. Monday after CSI on News 3. As you look at the numbers, we welcome you back to Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Greg Gumbel along with Phil Sims and that top line, the telling stat, Phil, the number of total plays. If you're going to run more plays than the other guy, then you better your chances of winning the football game. Your chances go up. So Kansas City's got to find a way to get Buffalo off the football field. The number of plays for Buffalo has been outstanding. The bottom line was the other one. The Buffalo Bills are killing themselves with penalties, taking away scoring drives, taking away scoring opportunities because of self-inflicted penalties, that's hurt. Yeah, one of the things that we saw in, in last week's game was the fact that the, the Kansas City Chiefs were having trouble getting onto the field against the San Francisco 49ers, and it's repeating itself today. Yeah, Dick Vermeil said it very well, but last week, though, too, Greg, they started playing a little bit more aggressive in the second half against the 49ers. The 49ers weren't quite ready for it, and it allowed their offense to get back out there. When you heard Dick Vermeil talking with Armin Katayan on his way to the locker room in the first half, he sounded very confident, but basically it was, well, if only we can get our hands on the football. Yeah, yeah. 
but I can see why when they've had it in their hands, they are making plays, throwing it down the field, receivers are getting open. Well, the Chiefs will get their hands on the football here, barring an onside kick. Hollis kicks it away, and from the two-yard line, Hall drops it, picks it up to the 10. The 20. Penalty markers fly. He's at the 40 and across to the 42-yard line. Jason Bostic with the tackle, and let's check the flag, and it's going to back the Chiefs up. During the return, holding, receiving team, number 29, half the distance to the goal. First down. Penalty is on Jason Belzer. It'll back Kansas City up. Let's go down to Armin. Thanks, Greg. And talking to Greg Williams, he said this whole ball control strategy is definitely something they wanted to do going into the game. He said, actually, that onside kick strategy is all part of it. He said, I did not want to get that ball into Kansas City's hands. He said, I went to Danny Smith, the special teams coach. He said, do it. So he's going to do it. And he also said, we got a couple other things up our sleeve. So keep an eye on the Bills here in the second half, Greg. Back to you. Armin, by the way, we salute you from up here in the booth because uh, our Mr. Katayan's playing hurt today. Yes, he is. Back spasms this week. And... Hey, he made it through all the he practiced on Friday, set through a boring film <laughs> session. And, you know, I know it's tough. I'm in there, Armin. Look at the total plays the last two games the Chiefs are going against. We get a jump on the line before the snap. False start. Offense. Number 68. Half the distance to the goal. First down. No, that's, that's Will Shields and Will Shields we were talking to on Friday. He said, you know, this new scheme was just a little different to get used to. We were always in running mode. Now they like to throw it, and Dick Vermeil said about Will Shields, it just destroys him to make a mistake. So that offside penalty will really bother him. Trent Green throws behind Gonzalez, and that's incomplete. Gonzalez came out of that break a little bit late for the football. Trent Green's numbers on the day, 139 yards. Eddie Kennison having another terrific day here today, and Priest Holmes has been shackled pretty much, just 23 yards rushing, although he did have the four-yard touchdown run. Second and 15 now. And we get a jump up front. Pat Williams, contact. Encroachment, defense, number 93, five-yard penalty, second down. That was a good job by Trent Green. And I think we say this too, Greg, the snap count is not used enough by quarterbacks, especially in a situation like this. You want to get back the yards that you lost. Now at least gives your offense a better chance in two downs. And Trent Green made that hard count. And Big Pat Williams, once it gets moving, you can't stop it. Second and 10, Priest Holmes. And Holmes is wrapped up at about the 11 or 12-yard line by Ron Edwards. You know, we, we always talk about the week off. It helps the running back. It helps this guy. But think about the big guys. Think about Pat Williams there. He gets a, a week off to rest that body because those legs are carrying around some weight. Look at that guy. And he is really showing it today. He's been quick. He's been extremely aggressive. I've watched him. He's he's emotional. He is making plays for that Bills defense. Third and seven. That's Bo Richter in motion. Green. Incomplete. Bo Richter, the intended receiver, Antoine Warfield was there to make the play. Yeah, Antoine Winfield. Winfield, excuse me. That's okay. And we get a penalty back up field, and this is going to go against the Bills. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 98, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. It's the blitz. Oh, it just, it's too late. Ron Edwards just pushes over Trent Green way after the play is over. And I know what everybody's thinking. Oh, come on. Hey, yeah, you come on. You pushed him after the play was over. How are we going to decide what hurts and what doesn't hurt? And again, what do we say? That bottom line of that of the stats, penalties, that was, again, you did it to yourself right there, the Buffalo Bills did. Field position, getting the ball, they lost it all. Eight penalties for 65 yards now against Buffalo. 
And Priest Holmes straight ahead. Williams and Schobel combining for the stop there. But you're right. If you give a team like Kansas City just too many chances, sooner or later it's going to bite you. You know, we, I never forget this. Al Groh years ago he used to he told us a stat. He goes, when you commit a defensive penalty on third down, you know, yeah, I, I can't remember. It's incredible the number of times it leads to a score by the offense because you are given talented professional athletes three more chances to beat your defense. Hey. Here's Holmes again, and Holmes spinning forward to the 34. London Fletcher in on the stop. And it just makes sense, Phil, that you've, you've put out every effort that you can to stop them, and sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, but now you're just going to give them the whole new chance. Hey, and, and Greg, we're talking about a good offense, too, on the other side. Now they got a chance here again on about third and three to four, but, but for, that's already passed. What you've really done, though, you've taken your team, your offense off the field, like I said, and your field position has now switched back where even if Kansas City doesn't get it, Buffalo will have to go a long way. And London Fletcher and a Buffalo defense calls a timeout. So a timeout is called here, stops the clock, 12.50 to play in the third. The Mountain Old. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Well, as we come back, London Fletcher saw something he didn't like in the defensive alignment, and the Bills used their first timeout here in the second half. It's a third and three. And well, Green will go from the shotgun. Sorry, Greg. London Fletcher said they've simplified the defense so they wouldn't make mistakes. Green. Near side. Kennison. Made the catch at the 42-yard line. And Trent Green comes up limping. Boy, Eddie Kennison is just a dynamic receiver down the field. When you watch him, he just gets down fast. Nice job. He makes the catch. One foot in, drag the other. Let's see what happens to Trent Green. Grabs his left ankle, but he's back at it. Three catches for 93 yards for Kennison today. Holmes. Got to go back the other way. Nowhere to go. And he's buried at the 46. Fletcher and Eddie Robinson combined. Well, that's a good job by London Fletcher. London Fletcher lives on the fact that he does film study and he can recognize plays and use his speed to disrupt. That's what he's he's not big enough to go and take linemen on and blow up the play, things like that. But you know, Craig, we talked to him. He told us a lot about this defense last night. Well, he also said that they didn't tackle very well against the New England Patriots, and the bye week was the time to revisit fundamentals like technique and tackling. You know, interesting. Greg Williams, the head coach, says we were going for those knockout hits, you know, the highlight hits, instead of just tackling. Screen. Oh. Makes it back to the 43, maybe the 42. Schobel and Keith Newman with the stop and it's going to be third and 11 and it's shown so far today Greg they're not they're not given extra yards to um, offensive players breaking those arm tackles they're not over pursuing they're doing technically the right things and it's as Greg Williams said we work so much on tackling trust me my guys can't wait to go hit somebody else this week. They need the Buffalo 32-yard line for a first down. Green, pump fake. Now down the sideline and overthrew his intended receiver, Johnny Morton. And Green is on the deck. Boy, Trent Green has taken some big hits. If he has more time, it is a touchdown. He makes the play action fake. And Chidi Ahanatu just hits him from the side. Good solid hit. Boy, he's shaking him off, though. Straczynski. Into the end zone for the touchback. 20 yard line is where Drew Bledsoe and the Bills will go to work after this. 
Mount Everest at 17,000 feet. Muscles twitch, nerves fray, engine roars. The awe-inspiring new forerunner with advanced technologies like hill start assist control, downhill assist control, torsion center differential, and x ray sport suspension. You find the obstacles, we'll help you conquer them. What is it? Pixie dust. Pixie dust? Pixie, Pixie dust? dust? Magic self-healing server pixie dust. How's it work? Server goes down, sprinkle on the pixie dust, servers back up. Use it regularly and servers solve their own problems. Easy. I like it. What's it cost? It's cheap. Cheap. Soy-based. Soy-based. Biodegradable. Looks like we got a winner. favorite comedy duo. Would you mind if I go back up on stage now? I don't, but they might. Get out of here! The true story of Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Hello, ladies! It's just two guys on stage goofing around. They rewrote the rules of comedy. What are you laughing at? And loved each other like brothers. Till death do us part. Until the one day they shocked the world by breaking up. Me and nothing but a dollar sign. <laughs> it's all good. A world premiere movie, Martin and Lewis, CBS next Sunday. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Toyota. Get the feeling. Capital One, what's in your wallet? And by Sharpie, America's favorite brand of permanent marker. A beautiful day here in Kansas City, Missouri. Sun has been out since very early this morning, and there's a wrapped left ankle wow, by shot. Trent Green. And, and that's the ankle he hurt. And Dick Vermeil told us last week it's been nagging him. And you know that's that's tough for quarterback. He's lucky it's his front foot and not his back foot because that would make throwing really difficult. Bledsoe going to go deep. Fearless Price incomplete. Eric Warfield was right there with him, but Price went up and got a couple of hands on it. Well, Drew Bledsoe made a mistake I think that so many quarterbacks make. Look at him here. Peerless Price is going to be down the field. If he throws the football across, he's going to have the catch easy. Instead, he throws it up the field. Now he gives the defensive back a chance to come back in and make the play, and that's that's what Warfield does. All quarterbacks do it. I don't know why I did it. It's just hard to throw it across the field. On second down, Travis Henry trying to break it out left side, out across the 20 to about the 22-yard line. Scott Vegeta with the stop. A look at the offensive numbers on the Buffalo side of the football. Bledsoe with 148 yards and a touchdown. Eric Moles with four catches for 36 yards and a TD. And Travis Henry doing Yolen-like work on the ground. Good for 79 yards so far. Well on his way to a 100-yard day. Third down. Bledsoe has Josh Reed across the 30 to the 34-yard line. That'll be enough for a Buffalo first down. You know, I just happened to be watching that the whole way. Josh Reed, the third receiver. Look at Bledsoe. Look down the field. He knows the defense that there's going to be a void right there. He could tell that pre-snap, so he looked it off, set, and threw the football. And Josh Reed is so fast and so quick when you don't put a defender over him, he can cover 10 yards quickly. Second round draft pick out of LSU. Back to the ground game and Henry. Henry looking for running room. is across the 35 to about the 37. You know, to go back to what we started back at the beginning of the third quarter, Greg. The third down, roughing the passer. Well, they avoided the points. The Buffalo Bills finally did. But you could see if Chidi Ahanatu doesn't rush Trent Green, it's going to be a touchdown. So they were fortunate that the Kansas City offense didn't score on them. Both Greg Williams, as you look at Chidi Ahanatu, both Greg Williams and Dick Vermeil stressed to us they need to take advantage of every scoring opportunity, especially when you come up against a high scoring team on the other side of the field. Well, especially when you know you're.
your defense is not going to shut the other team out. Henry with running room on the right side. 45, midfield. Penalty markers fly as he's brought down inside the 40-yard line of the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to call holding on Peerless Price, a wide receiver. Number 81, 10-yard penalty, second down. Look to the bottom of the screen. No, I don't think that was it. I don't. I didn't see it. If that no. was it. If we, well, I, I circled the wrong guy. I think. I think it was on the inside. Well, wherever it was, it wiped out a 23-yard gain. So now it's second and seven instead of a first down at the Kansas City 39 second down at the Buffalo 37 Henry Henry with running room left side midfield and back to almost the 40 yard line you know there's there's so many things when you look at plays being made in an offense there's so many reasons why but you're playing the Bills you're so worried about the three wide receivers Bledsoe's arm you got everybody to the outside protecting against it and you just leave nobody inside to stop the run in case they do it the Bills don't do this a lot but when they this time they didn't look at the space that Travis Henry has once he gets past the defensive line. Travis Henry now up to 116 rushing yards the fourth time. He's over 100 this season. Sammy Morris is in the backfield. Bledsoe with all kinds of time and a bullet complete to Price inside the 35 to about the 32. Well, we've uh, I've said this many times in the past. So we got a flag in the air. Drew Bledsoe, once he hops, the ball's going to have some pace on it, throws it in some tight situations. Well, this is going to back the Bills up again. And again, it looks like it's peerless price. We'll measure first to determine if it's a first down prior to marking off the foul. In fact, you saw a couple of teammates pulling Price aside with a couple of words. Well, this is it. Let's see. Well, that was the 15-yarder. Offense, number 81. 15-yard penalty. The down counts. Second down. Now, what do you want to say there, Mr. Gumble? I want to say that in this rough and tumble game that we see back and forth on a weekly basis, I don't know how that qualifies as unnecessary roughness. Yeah, I understand. It's tough, but also, where do you start drawing the line? So when you start, yeah, oh, yes, and look, you just got to have a strict line. You, you do something that you're not supposed to do, they just got to call. You do that to me twice a quarter if I don't let you in. Second and 16. Now, that's never the case up here, is it? <laughs> Let's all quick pass over the middle, and that's complete. Close to the 30-yard line, Josh Reed. Well, you remember in the first half, I said Eddie Freeman was in coverage. He came out. It's almost the identical play. Watch 71 on defense. Here he goes. He's going to try to get across to get to Josh Reed. What recognition by Drew Bledsoe and Josh Reed. That is, to me, that is the toughest thing for the quarterbacks to react to. Buffalo continues to control the football. 17-yard pickup, first and 10, markers five. And if the Bills, if they score a touchdown here, they're gonna go 195 yards to get it. This one looks like it'll go against Reuben Brown. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, number 79, five-yard penalty. First down. Reuben Brown has been to six consecutive Pro Bowls. First round draft choice out of Pitt back in 95. Yeah, he's really, it's Reuben Brown, when he came in this league, he was a big offensive lineman. He is the runt on this <laughs> offensive line right now because it is huge. 
but he has really played well this year stepped it up and being a leader to the young offensive line Emory looking for running room that just isn't there and down he goes John Browning Gary Stills on the stop loss of two will make it second and 17 on this drive alone the Bills have been hit with 30 penalty yards unbelievable and again uh, Kansas City was hoping to dominate the interior part of this Buffalo Bills offensive line and that has not happened that's why one of the reasons why Buffalo is controlling the football and winning this game on the blitz pass out here to Price and that's complete stood up and dropped at about the 31 yard line by Eric Warfield who has played a heck of a game out on the corner for the Kansas City Chiefs. Well Peerless Price is not going to get up and talk this time. Well I shouldn't say that he did a little anyway. You know he gets if you watch this play here's what happens. Number 81 going to break out catch it. One defender holds him up and watch Maslowski come in there. Whoop, just gets a little nick and then Peerless Price gets up and goes who was that. Third and 11. And again, the Arrowhead crowd on its feet. Comes the blitz. Bledsoe on the move, throws, and that's complete inside the 20 to the 15 yard line to Jay Reimersma. Boy, how good was that? So many good things that time by the Buffalo Bills offense. First, Larry Sinners. Nice blitz pickup. Mike Williams pushes Eric Hicks out of the way. And then Drew Bledsoe, as Dick Vermeil said, for a big quarterback, six foot six, he moves around really, really well. Boy, Drew Bledsoe they, like it. <laughs> you bet he does. He was making that little fist to the Kansas City sideline. Now 3,000 plus yards throwing this season. Travis Henry, left side, behind the block by Trey T, cuts it back to the 10 yard line. Meslowski and Shenard Hartz with the stop after a five yard gain. You know, I got a lot of. Let's watch this play first and let's watch the center, Trey Teague, number 70. Here he is in the middle of your screen. Pulling out, and you got to, you know, you got to make a decision to run. Oh, nice block. Gets Meslowski. He still gets off of it, makes part of the tackle, but it allows Travis Henry to pick up five good yards. 3.20 to play here in the third. Bledsoe to throw. Tip before it got to the end zone, he falls incomplete. That's a touchdown saving tip. That's what that was. You could tell by Bledsoe's reaction. There's Trent Green. It would just like to get on the field. He knew it. Who tips this ball? It might be Maslowski, 50. Oh, what a job. What a job. And Drew Bledsoe knows it's a touchdown. Maslowski read Drew Bledsoe's eyes and moved just as he was ready to throw it, got in the way. You see Buffalo's red zone offense today. A touchdown, a pair of field goals. Henry. Stacked up at the 10, forward to the 9. Boy, and as Mike Maslowski pumped, he and Eric Downing combined for the stop after one yard. Is he playing okay? What do you think? Sound like a relative of his up here. You call his name so much, but <laughs> terrific job by him. Just so much of it on defense is just, just hustle. And that's what he's doing today. Just working hard. When he sees it, he reacts to it. I can see how you could mistake me for a Maslowski. <laughs> From 27 yards out, Mike Hollis. Kick is away, and the kick is perfect. 2.29 to play in the third. 16-10, Buffalo. The stronger the foundation, the taller the building. And the more you put into a truck, the more you get out of it. At Toyota, we're proud that the Tundra has been ranked best in initial quality three years in a row. For people who care about getting the job done right, we built the Toyota Tundra better from the ground up. Gentlemen, tonight we leave our mark on the game of football. Yeah! We will not, however, leave our mark on the football.
Uh, come on, give it up. Mm -hmm. How do you use your you Sharpie? Talked about this before. Come on. Hey, look, it's only a dollar. Mm -hmm. Don't waste your money. Freeze. Pam needs a second opinion. Luckily, T-Mobile has a camera phone that doesn't cost a fortune. Carry on. <laughs> Ivory Toad of Shanghai. Hello, Buck. Introducing the $100 camera phone, only from T-Mobile. Get me. New York giant Michael Strahan and his mom brought Luis Hernandez new Campbell's Chunky Honey Roasted Ham and Potatoes. Filled up right by those hearty chunks of ham, Luis was in hog heaven. Access NFL.com now at America Online. Get live game day coverage and real-time stats at AOL keyword NFL.com. It's the year's most attacking format, the Franklin Templin Shootout. Join me and some of the greatest names in golf right here on CBS Sports. Well, tonight on 60 Minutes, if it surprises you, the president would call Osama bin Laden an SOB, which he does. It'll surprise you even more how candid he is about himself and the war on terrorism. That's tonight on 60 Minutes. Good morning, sunshine. There's a football game happening. That one is going to sail out of bounds. Kick well, out of bounds. Mike Hollis didn't want to do that. 40-yard line. First down. Just crank it up there. One more penalty. It's instant field position for the Kansas City Chiefs. They'll start from their own 40-yard line right after this. Smiling. Pick me, please. Oh. You pick the dog over your brother? No, not the dog. The HP on one printer with proof sheet makes it easy to pick and print just the right shots. Oh, that hurts. We build it to withstand earthquakes, the elements, anything you can imagine. At Toyota, we build to withstand the things you can't imagine. The Tundra was given the highest overall safety rating for full-size pickups by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The Toyota Tundra, better from the ground up. Monday, it's one hot night of comedy. First, when the King of Queens plays matchmaker, things go monstrously wrong. We built ourselves a Franken couple. Then, supermodel Heidi Klum guests on Yes, Dear. Oh, how hot is that? Next, has Ray's brother finally found the one? Don't forget, he married one that wasn't the one. And TV's hottest new comedy still standing. Don't we love each other enough to go a few hours without television? Depends what's on. Hot comedy, all new, CBS Monday. Plus, Dave's got Kevin James on an all new Lake Show. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Hewlett Packard, HP Digital Imaging. When it's this easy, why not? And by Wendy's Late Night Pickup Window, where you can eat great even late. 2.29 to play here in the third quarter. The Bills with a 16 to 10 lead on the Kansas City Chiefs, and Kansas City with the ball at their own 40 yard line, and the Chiefs start with their best field position of the day. Trent Green hobbled by that left ankle, his last series out on the field. Back out there. Here's Holmes. Holmes with running room on the right side and is down at about the 44-yard line. Let's get an update from Jim Nance in New York. Jim, what's up? All right, Greg, it has not been a banner day for Tommy Maddox. He has been intercepted three times. Meanwhile, McNair on the other side has thrown two touchdowns, both of them to Dyson, and the Titans lead 21-7, two minutes to go in the third. Back to Greg and Phil. Well, you know, Phil, no matter how well or how poorly the Titans are going, Steve McNair has shown the ability to just take that team on his shoulders. Steve McNair and Eddie George, they don't, they just, the word tough is used too much, but they are definitely tough. Priest Holmes are straight ahead. You know, Tony Gonzalez only had one catch last week. Today, just two catches for 17 yards. Well, here's why. Watch Tony Gonzalez when you don't double-team him. Down the field, open, easy throw and catch. 
But Greg Williams said, we're going to copy. It's a copycat league. We're going to do what San Francisco did. Have a linebacker, a safety. Look at this, two linebackers. Hit him, cover him. And that's why you don't hear his name much today. When you can hold him to just two catches, you go a long way toward winning the game. Green with time and throws, and that's complete to the 45 and now to the 42. Mark Bowrichter with the catch. And that'll be a Kansas City first down. Yeah, just when you give Trent Green time, and they're just like Buffalo's offense in a lot of respects, they got speed at the wide receiver. And what happens is, again, the zone defense by the Bills just disintegrates because of that extra time. Mark Bowrichter comes wide open because of that. So now the Chiefs have advanced to the Buffalo 43. We're in the final 40 seconds of the third quarter. Back to the Brown game and Priest Holmes inside the 40 to the 37. Pat Williams dragged him down. Both teams have shown a tremendous amount of patience running the football consistently on first down, even on second and long, given Priest Holmes for Kansas City and Travis Henry for Buffalo chances to keep the ball moving by running it. Let's see if Trent Green gets the snap off before time expires here in the third quarter. He will, and it's another Priest Holmes carry just inside 35. Keith Newman with the tackle, and with that, we've come to the end of the third quarter. 16-10 Buffalo. We're back after this message and a word from your local station. Waiting hey. for a family. Tuesday on News 3. Uh, Trent Green's that injured left ankle, I guess gingerly would be the best way to describe how he's moving out there. Phil, you're right. If I think if it had been in his, his back ankle instead of that front foot, he would not be on the field right now. He's been checked by everybody on the sidelines. And a good job by Trent just physically to stay in this game. Greg, back to you. All right, Armin, thank you. Green's numbers, 10 of 17 for 177. 35-yard line. The line of scrimmage. On third and two, they give it to Holmes, and Holmes didn't get there. And now Dick Vermeule with a decision to make. Situations dictate so much that goes on in the NFL. There were just too many people near the line of scrimmage for Kansas City to block. Buffalo just put everybody that wasn't covering a wide receiver up there to stop the run. Priest Holmes has nowhere to go. Fourth and two, and the Chiefs will go for it. And I'm sure part of this decision dictated by the fact that they aren't getting very many chances to have their hands on the football. That's it. Spread it out. Make Buffalo declare. Are they going to stop the run, which they declared? Everybody again up close. They give it to Holmes, and Holmes with the first down run to the 37. And boy, that is tough. Fourth and two, and you decide to run the football. Let's see if Will Shields is one of the reasons why they get this. 68. He's going to pull. Nice kick out. On Aaron Schobel and allows the running back to get up in there and get the extra yards. What did Will Shields tell us? The only stats that we on the offensive line have to go by is the number of times a quarterback gets hit and the number of positive yards the running backs get. Green. This side. Incomplete. Intended for number 80, Johnny Morton. Chris Watson was there to play defense. It'll be second and ten when we come back after we get an update from Jim Nance. Jim. We've got Tennessee on the board again, Greg. This time it's Eddie George from five yards out, his second touchdown of the game. And it's 28-7 with 21 seconds to go in the third. Titans trying to win a fifth straight. Let's go back to Greg and Phil. All right, Jim, thank you. You know, Jeff Fisher. You stick him up against the wall. He, he knows how to fight. And that Pittsburgh defense has never caught fire the whole year. Holmes breaks through the initial contact inside the 30 to the 27-yard line. Well, Greg, we talked about it. The Buffalo Bills tell us the last game they played against the Patriots. They didn't tackle well. But you have to say, just being a fan and your first observation looking at it, they have been very good today at making the hits and bringing the runner down or the pass receiver. London Fletcher limps off to the sideline. 
And Coy Wire comes off. A big third and five for Trent Green. The pitch for Holmes and Holmes. Couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Pearson Prelo came up with the stop. Well, boy, the new defense by the Buffalo Bills just thinking, not always giving in and putting all defensive backs in these type of situations. And look what happens. They got what they call the big nickel. Extra players in there can help in the tackling game. And that's what they do. And Pearson Prelo, say it many times, again, making a good tackle near the line of scrimmage. Jordan Anderson is going to line up a 45-yard field goal attempt. Wind is with him. He has a long of 50 this season. Kick is on its way and it's left. So the drive stalls. The field goal is wide. Buffalo will take over right after this. There's something wonderful about a hamburger. It's one of the few things that brings so much joy. Made fresh, hot off the grill, all juicy and delicious with fresh toppings so it tastes great. It lifts your spirits and makes everything okay. That's the kind of hamburger we make. Wendy's Classic Double with Cheese. It's better here. And our pickup window's open till midnight or later so you can eat great even late. Hi, I'm Emmett. And I'm not. We may not look it. But we're a lot alike. We both like giving back to the community. And we're both considered quite stylish. And we both believe that phone service should be simple. Oh, yeah, like 10, 10, 220. It's cheap whether you use it a little or a lot. 99 cents for all calls up to 20 minutes. And there are no monthly commitments. So you only pay for the calls you make. So, what do you think of the shirt? Too loud. What do you think of the shirt? Dial 10, 10, 220. Passage is intense, but if you complete the journey, you will find your destiny among the world's greatest warriors. The few, the proud, the Marines. CBS Thursday, porn turns deadly. That was a murder. And every frame leads to a killer. How does somebody cross the line where killing a woman is a turn on? All new CSI. Then a Saudi Arabian doctor goes missing. Now some fear the worst. You think Enwar is a terrorist? You've got to get out. No, don't do that. CSI and without a trace, CBS Thursday. Hey, Monday on an all-new Late Show, catch King of Queens star Kevin James. Music from Matchbox 20. And Dave brings in an entire small town to be part of the Late Show. Monday on CBS America's most watched network. Bledsoe gives to Travis Henry, and Henry maybe a yard. Boy, look at what the Buffalo Bills have accomplished their last four possessions. Look at the length of the drive, starting from their 20-yard line twice to 15 once, and the drive that began at their own 49 was a result of the onside kick recovery. Well, you know what that tells you? Just say it says one thing. When you try to read these stats, look at these numbers, they're winning the physical part of the game, and to make those drives, your offensive line has got to be playing well, and Buffalo's offensive line is really having a good day so far. Now they're in a situation, do you attack a little and try to win the game, or do you keep protecting? Let's go on second and nine. And that's complete to Peerless Price, and Price is across the 40 to the 42. Scott Fujita is there to make the stop. Boy, nice tackle. A lot of good, one of the reasons why the score is so low today, the drives are long, eating up some time, but both teams are tackling extremely well. Scott Fujita, rookie, nice job. No extra yards hardly at all. Incidentally, London Fletcher has gone off the field to the Buffalo locker room. Third and three. Bledsoe with time, now running out of time. On the move, throws over the middle, incomplete. Price is intended receiver, and Ray Crockett was right there with him. Well, there you go. That's what they needed this defense. Get off the field. 
Well, Kansas City's offense must be looking at it going, are you kidding? <laughs> We're getting the ball back. That's how you get it going. That's You just need rhythm to, to get everybody going. And it starts with the defense, a three and out. Dante Hall, deep. At about his own 12, and Brian Mormon set to kick it away. And Mormon gets another good one off. Ball from the 12. 15, 20, and out to about the 21, maybe the 22 yard line. Sammy Morris makes the stop after a nine yard return. 10 16 to play in the fourth. Love playing two hand touch, eating way too much, watching my team win with the twins. Ah, love quarterbacks eating dirt, pom poms and short skirts, fans who won't quit, and those twins. And I love them too. It's the football. Go to hyperspeed now. I'll never forget you. Never. Ving. What? Just pick a movie. Really get into movies with the finest from RCA at Radio Shack. Like a 27-inch color stereo TV, only $249.99. And make the movie experience real with this home theater with DVD, now just $299.99. How about this? No, please. Move along, little doggies. Radio Shack. somewhere in the Acura TL Type S. Tuesday, a sailor's death is blamed on half the ship's crew. But how many men can you arrest? What is it you're after? I'm just trying to find out where the buck stops. All new Jag. Then, the parents of a murdered child are the number one suspects. What happened to her? But the answer to this mystery is something you'd never expect. You're gonna need a lawyer. All new Guardian after Jag. CBS Tuesday. Phil, has it been your experience that special teams coaches are a breed apart? They are, Greg. They live and die with each play. And look at Frank Gans Jr. And that's just oh, on a three-yard return. I know. <laughs> it's, it is one tough life being a special teams coach. Trent Green on first down, a quick slam. And what a catch by Johnny Morton. Four things coming together at one spot. One receiver, two defenders, and the football. Boy, and Pearson Prelo. I don't know if he's going for the catch or the hit. Looks like he's going for the tackle and just kind of misses it. But what concentration by Johnny Morton. Well, Johnny Morton has come into his own big time here in this game today. First and ten after the 13 yard game. Priest Holmes across the 35 to the 37 yard line. And you, know, you guys were saying last week Priest reminds you of someone. He reminds us of Joe Washington. He used to play for the Baltimore Coats. And our, we were watching film, and you start watching, and you just say, who does he remind you of? And you can tell the feet. And it really is, except Priest Holmes is a little more modern day, a little bigger probably, a little more powerful. And But the foot action, almost identical when you watch him play. You can pick up a lot of watching film. Second and eight. Green. Complete Marcus fly. This will be against Buffalo. Pass interference. Defense. Number 55. Automatic. First down. Eddie, Eddie Robinson, number 55, is going to try to cover Priest Holmes. He fakes outside. Oh, yeah. When you put that arm around the waist and adjust his route, then that is going to be a penalty. And Greg, you're right. You can pick up a lot watching film. I always get on you for falling asleep during the sessions every once in a while. You 
been great this year. When I am awake, I catch everything. Well, I got to admit, I fell asleep twice this week myself. I had to click your hand. Green with time, going deep down the sideline for Tennyson, incomplete, and there's a marker. Chris Watson wants to know what he did wrong. Well, let's watch a replay and see if we can see the reason why the penalty marker is thrown. Pass interference, defense, number 21, automatic first It down. looks pretty good. Watson is chasing, but does he turn and look for the football? Well, in slow motion, it doesn't look too bad. That is a 36-yard penalty. Advancing the ball to the 19 in a first down, Kansas City. Holmes. To about the 17, Pat Williams makes the stop. Or the run defense from the Bills. It is just, this is the best I've seen it by far. And, and you really got to, it even stands out more when you know they're doing it against the Kansas City Chiefs offensive line and Priest Holmes is a running back and Pat Williams another guy just having a terrific day inside and as I say that he goes off the field looks like he's holding that left arm rather gingerly London Fletcher is back on the field back in the lineup green to throw Pump fakes on second and eight. Now throws over the middle of Holmes. Holmes running room to the 10. And just short of a first down, it would appear. Keith Newman with the stop. Good pass protection. That's what does it again. When the quarterback has extra time, the spaces, the holes in the defense just get bigger. And a nice job again by the Buffalo defense stopping Priest Holmes in the open field. But I like this. Buffalo, you know, Greg, sometimes you can be too smart as coaches. They simplified, they got less defenses, and they look much better today than I've seen in the previous game. Third and one. Holmes looking for the first down, and here's the habit. But not by much. Well, even if he gets it, you can see everything is work for Kansas City's offense when it comes to the to the running game. Well, no, I hope I didn't speak too soon, Phil. But I'm not responsible for the spot. You know, Craig, nobody's keeping score at home because they really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to realize what we say is just not that important. Doesn't matter. Boy, here's something that matters. Buffalo, 139 penalty yards today, 94 in this half alone. Short, and they're going to go for it. Oh, sure. You know what I know? It doesn't mean much. I go home, and I said, well, how do we sound today, dear? It's just, I can see the look on her face like, oh, oh, it was really good. Oh, so in other words, you didn't listen to one word. But you look good. Then I know she's lying. Fourth down today. think you can do anything but just run it up in there. Richardson and Holmes behind Green. Priest home. First down. To the eight. Well, you could really... You could, you could go either side when you talk about Kansas City's offensive line. At one guard, you have Brian Waters to the left. Then on the right, you have Will Shields. Oh, Brian Waters, look at 54. Just does a terrific job sealing off and pushing his guy forward. And talking about Brian Waters and Will Shields, the guards, Dick Vermeil said they are the two fastest guards in the National Football League. Here's Holmes, right side, blocking in front of him to the five. Clock continues to move as we come up on six minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Well, now you've committed yourself. It's Dick Vermeil's telling Al Saunders, the offensive coordinator, four downs. You almost have to think that way and try to score a touchdown. 
just because the time on the clock. Here's Al Simons. Haven't talked about him today. Offense hasn't been on the field as often as he'd like. Holmes tries the left side. Cuts it back. And doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Antoine Winfield comes up from his cornerback slot. Oh, not only does he not get back, they lose yards. And now, let's let's take a... Why doesn't he get any yards? And Again, it starts from the inside. Stop the inside stuff. The runs. Look at Big 93. Oh, he's just ripping across the formation. He reads it. He sees Tony Richardson shift to the left, and defensive linemen see that. They they think it's probably going to follow him. They run that way, gets in the backfield, makes the play. Third and goal. Green running out of time. He's going to take it himself to the end zone. Touchdown. Penalty marker is down. It's holding against Buffalo, against Dante Hall. and all Trent Green took it himself to the end zone and we're tied at 16. As a Kansas you. City Chief that's Trent Green's first rushing touchdown. I would tell you I was just going to say Greg Trent Green this ankle is going to be a problem with him probably the rest of the year but especially this week. Morton Anderson for the point that will put Kansas City ahead and he does. 53 to play in the fourth quarter. Trent Green sets sail for the end zone and gives the Chiefs a one-point lead. Behind them is the shortcut they'd heard about that supposedly went around the highway that's always backed up. Ahead of them is that highway. But right now, Life is perfect, thanks to an empty road, a full tank, and the available voice-activated navigation system of a 260-horsepower Acura MDX. Buy any Olympus digital camera, and you'll get the most realistic digital images yet. And for a limited time, a $75 rebate on select Epson Stylus photo printers. Go to olympus.com slash promotions for details. Olympus. Nothing's impossible. Mr. Friday. What is that? Double glazed baby back ribs. And where are the utensils? Tonight, dig into our mouth watering double glazed baby back ribs. Glaze twice for a one of a kind Friday's taste. CBS Monday. On an all new CSI Miami. A sniper on the loose. <laughs> a city terrified. Now to catch the shooter, CSI will go inside the mind of a killer. And that's when we'll get him. The sniper has struck. This could tell us where he's been. Or where he is right now. Don't miss an all-new episode of TV's most watched new show. This guy's on a spree. All-new CSI Miami, CBS Monday. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Acura and the 260-horsepower TL Type S. Olympus. Nothing's more fun, nothing's holding you back. With an Olympus digital camera, nothing's impossible. And by TGI Fridays. At Fridays, try one of our delicious menu items tonight, like our double-glazed baby back ribs. Trent Green. Touchdown run to cap a 78-yard drive, helped along by Buffalo penalties. Five wide receivers went out in the play. They doubled Tony Gonzalez. Nobody there to watch Trent Green. Morton Anderson's kick. From the seven is Charlie Rogers. 20, 30, 40 to the 44-yard line and a terrific return of 37 yards by Charlie Rogers. And Drew Bledsoe will have excellent field position to work with when he comes back. AC on. CD play, disc four. Find nearest Chinese restaurant. The voice activated navigation system responds to 180 commands. Order uh, Mushu pork. 
that's not one of them. The all-new 240 horsepower Accord from Honda. Skip, that is a great idea. I'm gonna get some creamer. Can't get in. Hey, Tom, did you get in? Huh? When text messaging works for you. I did. Good. That's M Life from AT&T Wireless. Your mobile life made better. The Bronze Synchro gives you bronze closest shave ever. And its automatic self-cleaning system leaves your shaver so clean, it feels like new every day. Gentlemen, tonight we leave our mark on the game of football. Yeah! We will not, however, leave our mark on the football. Uh, Come on, give it up. Mm -hmm. How do you use your you Sharpie? We've talked about this before. Come on. Five survivors. Episodes left. What happens when the castaways play a game where the winner gets to snuff out the loser's torch? It's not over till the fat lady sings, but I think I can hear her warming up. Um, 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 um. And one survivor will need speed and balance oh, to win an astonishing adventure. Oh my god. All new Survivor, CBS Thursday. Watch what Buffalo's defense does. They double cover Tony Gonzalez. Everybody else has a man, and then there's only one person in the middle of the field they can look at the quarterback all five receivers out double cover Tony Gonzalez and it's too late when you see the quarterback run Blitz on a throw on first down on the blitz he throws incomplete intended for peerless price on the far side of the field Scott Fujita was in on blitz and while well, we have a moment coming up next Jamal Lewis and the Ravens take a run at Ricky Williams and the Miami Dolphins while Brian Greasy and the Broncos Try to bounce back against Sean Alexander and the Seahawks or the New York Jets meet the Detroit Lions. We ask you to check your local listings. Second and ten. Last week when Kansas City was in this situation trying to win the game, they were aggressive and they blitz. They did on the first down. But so gives to Henry. Henry with Trey Teague in front of him. Turns the corner and is out of bounds at about midfield. Shenard Hart ran him out of bounds. Let's check in with Jim Nance in New York. Jim. All right, Greg and Phil, the last play of the third quarter at Tennessee and a most unpleasant sight here as the MVP candidate Tommy Maddox, after releasing the pass, is hit in the back of the neck by Keith Bullock of the Titans. He stayed on the ground for some 15 minutes before his head and neck were stabilized. He left the Coliseum on a stretcher, then an ambulance and has been taken to Baptist Hospital. No update on his injury, but a very grim look there with Tommy Maddox on the field for 15 minutes. Let's go back to you. All right, Jim, thank you. Drew Bledsoe throws far side. Larry Centers okay. complete to the 40-yard line. Larry Centers. I'll tell you, this NFL, as you watch the players, and Greg, we see it all the time. Drew Bledsoe under pressure. He makes the throw. But Larry Centers, out in the flat, ball coming into the sun, and just makes the catch like it's nothing. The throwers, the catchers, they've all gotten so good they perform at such a high level every week, we just take it for granted. First down, Buffalo at the 40. They trail by one. Down the sideline, incomplete. Eric Moles, the intended receiver, Warfield was covering. Well, let's watch it, because Buffalo is really upset. Let's see if it is pass interference. Good job by Eric Warfield. Well, well, that pass is uncatchable. Well, how do you know? When you knock the defender down, it's illegal contact pass to five yards. My practice died. <laughs> but no, I, you, hey, Eric Warfield, look, I, I'm not one of these that you can't hit the receiver, but he hit him 10 yards down the field. Second and 10. Bledsoe with time. Down the middle of the field for Price. Intercepted by Warfield. Warfield to the 20. Out of bounds. Penalty marker is down. The markers fly after the interception. Reuben Brown is on the ground. Personal foul block. 
below the waist. Personal foul. Low block. Intercepting team. Number 39. At the distance to the goal. First down, Kansas City. The penalty is on Ray Crockett. The penalty comes after the terrific interception by Eric Warfield. And Kansas City takes over. Time to leave. Gotta get rid of this pain fast. The moment of choice, Tylenol or Advil? Which will work better on muscle aches? Truth is, with Advil liquid gels, you can feel better faster. Only Advil liquid gels give you advanced, liquid-filled capsules that work faster, stronger, better than Tylenol on tough pain. Advil liquid gels rush relief where you need it. Gentle on your stomach, too. For better relief, advance to Advil. Hey, I was just thinking. Have you ever seen a really overweight squirrel? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. You'd think you'd see one every once in a while. Nuts are so fatty. Yeah, but they do a lot of cardio. Hmm. When you drive a car you never have to think about, what will you think about? The Civic from Honda. The Amazing Race takes you on a thrill ride through Europe, where sabotage will be part of the game. It's like your nature to be nasty. All new Amazing Race at a special time, CBS Wednesday. If you're in trouble, this ex-cop will protect you. I got a six-year-old. I haven't seen him for two years. No, no matter who you are. Tell me who your pimp is. Can Michael Oshansky save a desperate mother? If you stay, your daughter never sees you again. No matter what, I love you. An all-new hack, CBS Friday. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Honda, the company that defines performance in motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. And by Norelco, America's number one selling electric razor. Well, let's see. Peerless Price at the bottom of your screen is going to run a route down the middle of the field. Eric Warfield is covering him. Good look here, too. You can see nobody in the middle. Nice break. Drew Bledsoe throws it up the field. Again, look, he's got a nice lead if he leads him across. Warfield wouldn't be able to come under, but Dick Vermeil is like, thank you, Eric Warfield. Fourth pick of the season for Warfield, and now Priest Holmes on the ground, left side, turns the corner, breaks it up the sideline, and is out of bounds short of the 30 yard line. 16 yards on the play. Jerry Gray looking very excitable over there, the defensive coordinator for Buffalo. Well, it's probably the first time today that we have seen the Kansas City Chiefs sustain blocks. Brian Waters gets on London Fletcher just long enough where Priest Holmes can shed the tackle and get the extra yards. There's Jerry Gray. I could hear him yelling. Oh, they yeah. wanted a hold. On the 26. Again, across the 35 to the 38. 12 yards and a first down. Let's see if we can watch the center, Casey Wickman. It is, it's amazing. Watch him as he comes around this time. I want you to how easy. Turn the corner. Boom. Down to the ground. Good blocking by Tony Richardson up the field. Nothing all day long. And finally, Priest Holmes sees two big running lanes. It's, you know, you hear it so much and you, you almost dismiss it when you hear it, is that if you stay with the running game and you're patient, that it'll start to work for you as the game goes on. That's Ron Edwards, the defensive tackle for the Bills, as you look at Priest Holmes' numbers by quarter. 990 rushing yards on the season now for Holmes. 10 yards shy of 1,000. Ron Edwards, the second-year defensive tackle out of Texas A&M. Slow to get up. And they help Edwards up, and he will take the slow route to the sideline. We remind you, tonight on 60 Minutes, if it surprises you, the president calls Osama bin Laden an SOB, which he does. It'll surprise you even more how candid he is about himself in the war on terrorism tonight on 60 Minutes. And then 
60 minutes of comedy with Becker and Everybody Loves Raymond, followed by the riveting conclusion of Master Spy, the Robert Hansen story starring Oscar winner William Hurt. It's all here tonight on CBS, America's most watched network. You know, something else that Dick Vermeil told us last week that I, I, I just we didn't say, and it, it reminds me of even when I played, and I think it's so true, as the year goes along, scoring does kind of go down. It gets harder because defenses, they've seen it all. They, they, you know, nothing surprises them. They react better to all situations and different looks that offenses give them. But today just kind of mirrors that. Justin Bannon has come on to replace Edwards. Holmes around the left side and is out of bounds after another big game. Well, Priest Holmes would like to stay in bounds, but I don't think he could that time. But William Rolfe, left tackle, Tony Richardson, both getting good blocks, allowing Priest Holmes to get outside. Eight yard pickup, and it's second and two. And now Holmes just two yards shy of a thousand yards for the season. Boy, Greg, I, I don't, how do you explain it? They can't really run the football all day long, and in three straight runs, they just rip it up in there. He picked up 35 yards his last three carries, and there's 1,000 yards and more to the 45-yard line. Boy, the offensive line, they're out there giving each other five slapping hands. And let's watch the center one more time. Of course, he's the guy right there in front of Trent Green. Casey Wigman, oh, nice job. Seals off Pat Williams. Oh, this is some, this has got the makings of a terrific offensive line as they announce Priest Holmes. You and I were talking about this. It is amazing with all the great running backs in the history of this franchise that Priest Holmes is the first to rush for 1,000 yards in back-to-back -back seasons. Yeah, it really is. It's something in, well, as Dick Vermeil said, even they didn't know quite what they were getting when they went out and got Priest Holmes on the free agent market last year. And now they've added William Rope, the left tackle. They got two terrific guards. Shoot, I've said a lot about Wickman today. He's played very well, played very well last week, too. Priest Holmes with 99 yards rushing today. And Kansas City has turned that time of possession, which was so heavily in favor of the Buffalo Bills at halftime, to turn things around. Well, the offensive line starting to win the battle. That'll give you time of possession. Holmes again. You know, I think. Time out! Uh, watch this. I think this is the most we've ever talked about two offensive lines <laughs> yes. in, a, in a telecast, but rightly so, we don't do it enough. Buffalo has used its third and final timeout to stop the clock with three minutes and 12 seconds to play here in the fourth. And our NFL.com poll question, which road environment is the toughest for NFL teams to visit? All of you folks who have had to play in those tough environs, cast your vote at NFL.com. The place that has the best team. There you go. Yeah. But, but you know, Greg, you, you hear it all the time and, and you know about statistics and it, Dick Vermeil said it it's going to come down to whose big guys are going to win the battle up front it's going to determine who wins the game and, and it's like you say well if a team rushes 25 times they win 99% of the time well yeah because they're dominating the play inside that's why they're winning and so today it's kind of gone back and forth that's why we have such a close game. Priest Holmes, 100 yards rushing today, 58 this quarter, 45 on this drive. Here is Johnny Morton on the end around to the 40. And we have another build down at midfield. Well, he was running so fast. That's Justin Bannon, the rookie, the fifth round draft pick out of Colorado. Yeah, he's getting up. Nope, he's not getting up. He came on to replace injured Ron Edwards. Let's revisit the play. Justin Bannon's 97 coming through. We miss him. But watch the collision. Just so just six people just running into each other there. Well, 
Well, just a couple of plays ago, Ron Edwards exited the game, limping. Justin Bannon came on to replace him, and now he's flat on his back on the arrowhead at midfield. And he's up. Good. You know, whatever's happening in that defensive tackle position is catching, because that's exactly how Ron Edwards walked off the field. Well, you know, the fans are actually booing. Usually they cheer somebody once, but I think they... I guess they think this is a ploy by the Bills to save time on the clock. I can't see it as a ploy. If I was out there, I'd never get up. <laughs> Third and five. All you got to do is watch the replays. You understand why these guys lay down for a few extra seconds. And this is the game. This is it. Buffalo, you don't stop them here. You probably will not get the football back. Green to throw on third and five. Looks one way, looks the other, pulls it down, going to run for it, and has first down yardage inside the 30. Eight yards and a Kansas City first down. Boy, that is big stuff. Nobody open down the field. It's funny how we talked about it early in the game. Buffalo can cover with the best, but you've got to get a pass rush to help the defensive backs out. No pass rush, running lanes for the quarterback. A couple of big runs by Trent Green on third down. We hit the two-minute warning. Kansas City trying to hold on to a one-point lead. Hey, pal, I don't do commercials. We started this day talking about the offenses, but the defenses have played very, very well in the face of a couple of high-powered rifle arms in Drew Bledsoe and Trent Green. Two minutes on the clock, the Bills are out of timeouts, and Priest Holmes continues to add to his 100-yard day. Robinson and Wire with the stop. Kansas City with 87 rushing yards this quarter. We welcome those of you just joining us here at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. For Buffalo, the Bills dominated in the first half in ball control and in the scoring, but Kansas City has turned that around here in the second half and particularly here in the fourth quarter. Kansas City couldn't run it. They were having some good passes. In the fourth quarter, they start running the football. It's going to help it. Well, it's going to be the reason why they're going to win this game. Trent Green. Two big scrambles, one for a touchdown, the other to get a first down to seal the victory. After hurting his ankle pretty bad. Yeah, a happy Dick Vermeil, and we said at the top of this broadcast, he's looking up at everybody in the AFC West, and even more than the Buffalo Bills, the Kansas City Chiefs needed this victory here today. Yeah, you saw Dick Vermeil, Johnny Morton, he's got to be happy getting him involved, and you could tell. I said to Dick Vermeil, do you always know where your receivers stand during a game, who's caught passes, and he goes, Phil, all I gotta do is turn around and look <laughs> at the bench. The faces on the players always tell you who's catching the passes and doing what. Trent Green takes a knee and takes a victory home. Terrific performance by Green, that Kansas City offensive line, and at times the defense as well. Dick Vermeil seeking out and finding Greg Williams, and Williams sees the Chiefs win a close ball game for a game. They've been losing a lot of close ones this season. For Phil Sims and Armin Kate and Greg Gumbel saying so long from Arrowhead Stadium. Our final score, the Chiefs 17, the Bills 16. Jim Nance and company are along with scores and highlights on the NFL today. After these messages, this is the NFL on CBS. In its record at five and five and dropped the bills down to that identical mark with a 17-16 victory chiefs prevail on the green touchdown rush 
And a reminder coming up, Baltimore.